Hi. What's up, everybody? Welcome to History Hyenas. This is Chris Stefano, a.k.a. Crystal Clear Chris D. With me, as always, Giannis Papas, a.k.a. Yanni, nobody cares because you're Greek. Listen, I'm in a bad fucking mood. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to start off by telling you the truth. I'm in a bad mood. I'm tired. I haven't seen my daughter in five days. I got a thousand things to do today, and I'm fucking exhausted. So let me just be crystal clear. Let me open up with crystal clear. Okay, here's the truth. Nobody cares. AOC, you're stupid. Nobody cares about this dumb liberal bullshit okay it's trump 2020 and that's what it fucking is Listen, song she ain't. i'm wearing a whitney houston t-shirt and i swear to fucking god i have a whitney houston when i have on a whitney houston t-shirt it's because i i'm in such a bad mood that i need somebody to get me through and i need her angelic voice and i just want to think about her dance around her little 80s jumpsuit because the truth is i want to tuck my dick back and be whitney houston but and go in blackface because i don't fucking care i don't think i don't think it's racist <laughs> Listen, song so, she ain't. i just I just really have kind of had enough today. Yeah. And I know Godfrey is late. He's he's gonna be forty five minutes late because let's be let's be fucking honest. He doesn't have his shit together. Okay. And he probably listened to the episode and heard that Jim Gaffigan was up in this studio sitting here comfortably well, when he called and yeah. we said, Yeah, we'll get you next week, Godfrey. Well listen, one of Because make no mistake, Soul Plane didn't take off. Yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah, let's be honest. Sometimes you got to get bumped because one guy makes $35 million a year and the other guy does pull-ups off the scaffolding. The other guy has cold cuts in his mini fridge in his hotel room. Yeah. So I'm cheating. Because we got to start sending Mike Suarez, a.k.a. Emoji Face, for right. coffee more often just so he can get some exercise going up the stairs. Because yeah. <laughs> make no mistake, he just went, the coffee shop is right next door, but it is down two flights of stairs, and my money is a little wet from the sweat in his fingertips. <laughs> Am I a real infuriating person to be around because sometimes I have to take my glasses on and off. I'm at the age right right now where I can't see things if they're far or near. It depends yeah. what's going on. So I'm constantly just taking them on and off like a grandpa. Yeah, here's what I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you Yanni Thresholds because the thing is when you're – when I'm in a bad mood and I'm exhausted, I don't want to be here. I got a low threshold for you. I got, a, I can't tolerate you. There's a lot of things that I just let go. You know, I'm just like, let just let Yanni go. Just don't, don't be distracted by his eyes being too close together. Don't be distracted by his lay. Don't be distracted by now he has tits. Don't be distracted by any of that shit. Just let Yanni go because Yanni's a great kid. But now that I'm fucking exhausted, you see, I have to close my eyes. I just can't look at you. I just can't look at you because I swear to God, if you just if your fucking eyes get any more closer throughout this podcast, I'm gonna take you outside and do what I gotta do physically. <laughs> <laughs> You couldn't even get me up to Poughkeepsie because you would text and drive and you'd get your license revoked yeah. on the way up there. Cause make no mistake, you're too you do too much, Chrissy. Yeah, I'm Chrissy. I'm you're Chrissy telling the fans. Voice. Yeah, you're telling the fans you don't want to be here. You're tired. You may have a borderline low grade fever, as if it's something new or different. Yeah. <laughs> Because I got when you come back, Rograts. yeah, when you come back from a weekend on a Sunday, and it's a Monday, and we got to do the cast because we do the cast on Monday. There is nobody in this room who's expecting you to be well rested. Yeah, no, and <laughs> it's then, not gonna happen. You had to pick up the baby at five forty-five, and you probably were tooting till three forty-four a.m. I got Legion of Skanks tonight from nine thirty to eleven thirty. So and you're I, just not in the mood to deal with I'm Jay Oakerson's gloves. And I got meetings, and I'm just not in the mood. I'm just tonight. I'm just not in the fucking mood. Is there a small possibility that you're gonna bring a hammer, and if Jay Oakerson's wearing his winter cutoff gloves, you're gonna smash him against yeah, the table? I may just be like, listen, Jay. I love you, but everybody could do crowd work. Because <laughs> you're crystal clear with the people. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to be crystal clear. Today's a real no, crystal clear day. I just want to be crystal clear with the comedy community. Most of you people, not counting Dove Davidoff, Godfrey, even Big J, not counting Dan Soda, most of you people, I only tolerate to a point, and the only reason you're actually really safe is because I don't want to go to jail because I got I to gotta pick up the baby, Yeah, and I can't be in jail. There's no way I can pick up the baby. And plus, you're a lethal weapon now. It's a crime to use those hands. It's a crime to use those hands, but really, you're just one vodka soda away from a beatdown always. I like that you're thinking about your weight before you're going to punch somebody yeah. in the face. You're always just one vodka soda away, so you can pop off all you want, and you yeah. can say this and that and try to do your little jabs at me yeah. that maybe work on some of these nerd comedians, but just know... If you ever catch Chrissy D, if you ever catch Chrissy sinus infections on a day like this where he's really tired and he's got a low-grade fever yeah. and just misses the baby, I'm going to hit you with a one, two, three combo. Yeah. I'm just going to hit you with an uppercut straight to your fucking jaw piece. It's not going to come too quick because you are a clunky white guy, but it will come. It will connect. And because 
I, there's no way I, you can hurt me when I got a Whitney Houston t-shirt on. No way. You're impenetrable, impregnable right now. Yeah, cuz. But if the people are out there and you're in a bad mood and you're out there drinking like a freshman college sorority sister with yeah. vodka sodas, yeah. just watch out because Steel Pipe Chrissy is around. Yeah, I, yeah, I just was with some comedians in Cleveland, you know. Great city, great town, Cleveland. But you know they stop come, lying to the people. You've up, already told our fans you hate Cleveland. Showing up to the gigs late. You know they got guts. They all smell like weed. It's like why don't you just go get hit by a fucking bus? Stop okay? it, Mike's sitting right there. Yeah, no, not Mike. I like Mike. He's a good comedian, but, but he's breathing heavy. But the most, most. Listen, <laughs> let's be honest. Most of our peers are fucking useless eaters. Okay, there's a lot of mental illness in our community. There's a lot of mental illness in our community, and it's just got, it got. I just got a little pissed off yesterday. It was like just get your fucking life together. Yeah. If you're not going to make it, then you're not going to make it. Yeah. Okay? If the shit hit the fan for me, the, the last thing you're going to see me do is struggling in comedy. I'll just go back to being a physical therapist. Yeah. And I'll just work some people out physically. Yeah. You're, I'll just work I'll just work on your hamstrings physically. You're the last person that looks like he has a PhD in anything. Yeah. But if it's going to be anything, a kid like you, it would be a goddamn physical therapy PhD. Yeah, because... Because you just want to get around Filipino boys. That's what it as is. As much as possible. Because... If you don't think, if you don't fucking think for one minute that I was on the road sharing a room with Sal Volcano, I didn't try to sneak into his room and suck his dick. You got another thing. I got coming. another thing coming. You got another thing coming. I want to get that impractical Joker cock. No, I can never hook up with Sal Volcano because he's got flat feet. Sal Volcano, let me just let me just go on the record right now. And this is through a bad mood. This is Chrissy low energy. This is Chrissy mean. Sal Volcano, I just want to say on the record, is yeah. one of the greatest. Guys in our business. Yeah. Like truly one of the the all-time greats. Just a good fucking guy. The animals, the absolute animals that come up to him in outside in public or at his comedy shows that want to touch him and pull his clothing and yell shit in his face and embarrass him in public. The absolute animals, disgraces of human beings that, that we're surrounded by. The way he handles them with the grace and kindness, I've never seen anybody like it. And I've never seen – and it's just amazing. He's such a good guy. But let me – make no mistake and listen to me and listen to me loud and fucking clear. I'm choking. Do it, Whitney. <laughs> Come on. We're listening. <laughs> Go, girl. And I, I okay, will fine. always love you. Let me be crystal fucking clear. Do it, Chris. If you can, if you've ever come up, if you've ever walked up to any celebrity and yelled in their face, yeah, if yell, I'm not talking about asking for a picture. I'm talking about yeah. yelled at them and screamed. Yeah, you're a. F <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And you're a fucking at. You're an animal of a human being. Yeah. And for those moments, you wish that you could put on pause the laws of this great country mm -hmm. and do a few things to them physically. One hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. I've seen famous people before when I was physical therapist before I was even doing comedy, I had no famous friends. I never yelled at a famous person. Yeah. I never did that. I'd be like, oh, that's cool. They're there. Maybe yeah. get a picture. Yeah. But unless it was Whitney. <laughs> You'd screech at the tops of your lungs for Whitney. Oh my god, yeah. Because you're in bad shape, you're choking on your water, and your sinus infection. I figured out why you often suffer from sinus infections. Why? There's a lot of sinus in that head. Mm -hmm. You have double the size yes. of the sinuses of an average human. Yes. Because you got a helmet head. I do have a big head. You look like a god. You look like you should be standing next to Queen Cersei while she's talking to somebody considering whether to kill them. Yeah. And you look like the mountain. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't have his body. You're dying right now. I know that Game of Thrones. Somebody Thron give him a water. Give me water. <laughs> I know that Game of Thrones was the first episode last night, the opening episode, and it was good. And I know it was a setup episode, but I, they could have just done a little bit more. I liked it a lot. You liked it a lot? Yeah, had a lot of dialogue. I, I, you I liked know the that. dialogue. Yeah, I but, just want to see people getting thrown off fucking walls. It, it does. I'm just confused because you're choking on water, but usually when someone's choking, you want to get him water. You want to get yeah, So what do we do in this situation? Yeah. Take away his water. Because the, the truth of the situation is, I figured out I don't like a Game of Thrones episode unless I see a white walker. <laughs> <laughs> You know, in Queens last night, there was a lot of people going like, you know, the Night King is one. Of the, he's the head White Walker. He's head White. Yeah, there was. A, I saw one. Of, somebody I follow on Instagram, girl, one of my baby mama's friends. She had a Game of Thrones party, and it was just like she was like taught like doing a video, and she's a piece, but she was doing a video, and she was like, oh yeah, she was like, look, I made I made chocolate cupcakes and white cupcakes. She said the vanilla ones I call the White Walkers. <laughs> And I was like, you're a dumb bitch. Yeah, and on History of Hyenas, we call Mexicans white walkers. Yeah, well, we call, or we call them brown walkers. <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, are we just doing this podcast yeah. without the Wei Shang Xing button now? Well, no, Wei Shang Xing. Uh, when you look over at Chrissy, does he look like does he look like a partner to you? Come yeah. on, yeah. get the fucking button ready because yeah. we're gonna hear some very incorrect things. All right, I just that that was the first ten minutes. I just wanted to do that. I want to get that out. I want to get that part of it out because we've made a choice here on the History of Hyenas is to just kind of be an all white podcast. Be an, yeah, yeah, be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way yeah. song she ain't. Thank you, Zach. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Yeah. You look jacked. I know you're doing a couple cycles. Yeah. Zach's on the juice, Zach's but it's halal. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's halal. Zach's on the juice. Because when you do a steroid cycle, does it? Is it halal? The uh, the sheikh prays over it. Yeah, that's what jets. I figured. Yeah, but I just wanted to say that we're going to be scaling it back. That crazy shit that we do, where get racial and political. We're not going to do that much anymore because we just want it to be more about history and nature and fun. But so I just, you know, I'm just going to get out. I'm just going to get out. A f That's what I want. Just get out those 10 minutes. Just get a few more out. Yeah. So just, just, just in closing, I'm just going to get a few more out. Yeah. I just, you know, <laughs> I just want to get way song. Get she ain't. <laughs> I just want to get that out. Uh, Brown walkers. Yeah. Um, way song. She ain't. Yeah. Way song. She ain't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fourth Reich. Um, Wei Song Xian. <laughs> Sandies. Wei Song Xian. Fucking go play in your sandbox. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and Eastern Hemis. And Eastern Hemis. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. And that sounded that, so like I a, just want to get that out and yeah. just because I, I I we're closing that chapter and you know we're gonna, gonna you know what we're gonna call that segment Wei Shang Jing Ping Pong because that's what it's, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like you and Zach were playing a game of ping pong yeah with horrible things you were saying yeah yeah do it again because that was fun yeah ready oh yeah call me what Diner Monkey Diner Wei Song Xian yeah <laughs> fucking Sauce Monkeys Wei Song Xian give me my coffee Leroy <laughs> Wei Song Xian. <laughs> We just played a game of yeah. Wei Zhang Xin Ping Kong. Mike, are you 100% Mexican? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All White Walker. Yeah. 100% a Walker, right? 100%. Did you like Game of Thrones last night? It was okay. It just wasn't like the best episode. I like. I watch it to see people get killed. Yeah. Did you eat a bunch of cheese while you watched the episode? <laughs> no, I actually ate a salad. You did? I Good ate. for you, bud. Yeah, tried. You're All trying. Right. Yeah. 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 How many, what's your goal? You Do I have some? biceps again or are they gone now? Let me see. Um, you, they're starting to creep in a little bit. No, yeah. but remember last week you said I had one. Are they gone now? Yeah, but you're definitely starting to look a lot more like American Christopher X. <laughs> yeah. The more you work out and the more Jack you get, the, the more scared I yeah, get. Yeah, the yeah. more scary it gets. It yeah. 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 Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I fucking need is this Whitney Houston T-shirt and a nice German flag tattooed <laughs> on my back. You'll never stop me. <laughs> Wei Shang Xing, Zach, wake up. <laughs> Wei Shang Xing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal. I it, was just kidding. That was honestly, and no, I just want to say real quick. Anybody who's new to the podcast, that's joke shit. We do. We're going to yeah. do a whole episode today. Uh, we, we may have Godfrey, the great comedian, come in if if he shows up on time. You never know. Um, if 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 he's if he's not here, we're going to do a great episode about the abduction of Charlie Rose. Um, so, but we just fuck around. So, but on patreoncom slash boys you can find a lot of our wildness. You gotta be. A, you gotta. You gotta see. A lot of the magic is on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. So go there for more shit. But now we just fuck around here. But I just wanted to get. You know, I just wanted to get a few minutes out of kind of like the old me. And now I'm on. You know, I'm onto a whole uh, kind of new me. Hell, Hitler yeah. could be. Could <laughs> Wei Song Xi. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you did some sensitivity training. I was kidding. Yeah, yeah the hell hell was just kidding. We're just joking. Uh, that, uh, that truly was just a joke. I, yeah. yeah. A lot of people always I message I would us. Never, yeah. Yeah, you would never say that earnestly. No, I, and I would never just not I would never support the Nazis. Truly. No, but you will get a couple truly. you will couple but, I, but if I'm if I'm just gonna be crystal clear, they do have nice uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get another way, Shang Shin, please? Yeah. Even though the Hugo Boss did Wei make, Song yeah, yeah, It is the history hyena fact of the day that Hugo Boss did design those and uniforms. The, and there's nothing you could do about that. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, that's the way the cookie By crumbles. By the way, my new nickname, Chrissy Crumbles, because I'm always falling apart. Yeah, I think we I think we figured out your new name was Chrissy Can Collector. Chrissy can't collect her. You life. do like, yeah, you like to yeah. go fishing through the garbage a That's lot. That's what I like to do, yeah. 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 Um, but look, talking to Game of Thrones, I really believe your friends, if we put your friends into Winterfell, yeah. Okay, and they got to battle the White Walkers. 
they're going to do pretty good. First of all, they're going to yeah. come instead of a Winterfell flag. They're going to they're yeah. going to plant down a Trump flag. Yeah, Trump twenty twenty. Hundred percent. Okay, they're going to come straight from the Mets game. Right. Plant down a Trump Trump twenty twenty. Right. And then the boys from Queens will give will take a lot of those White Walkers physically. Yeah. Because right. a lot of those guys can carry their body weight plus half because they're firemen. They're firemen. So even though those kids drink a lot, whatever. Yeah. It's a constant thing that they can carry their body weight plus 20. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Here's 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 the kind of friends I have. So the great, my boxing instructor, the guy who's teaching me how to throw hands uh, when Sergio Chacon is smoking cigarettes and, and isn't available, I go with Paulie Gassi. Yeah. I go with Paulie Gassi, who, who trains in Betsner's out of, out of uh, the Italian Alamo, the last stand yeah. in Betsner's. He's got the Chinese attacking on all sides. He also yeah. sells Tickle Me Elmo's out of the garage, and he lives with his mother. Yeah, he and makes he's got a boxing garage in the basement, yeah. and then he's got his mother upstairs. Yeah, and he's got he actually does make vitamins out of his basement. He's got a vitamin line, but he hasn't got the website up yet. So yeah. once he gets the website, Side up. I'm going to convince him to be a hundred dollar member. Yeah. Then his mother will give him the money, and then uh, and then we could get PaulieGancy.com vitamins. But these are but <laughs> but these Wait, are, can I just say is that the most Italian thing ever? So <laughs> if you need a tickle me Elmo, yeah. or you need vitamins, or you need boxing lessons, yeah, go to Paulie Gancy's mother's house. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> In the middle. Of it. In the middle of Bensonhurst. So, um, and he's also, Paulie Gassi is, also, is actually training Paulie Malinaji right now, who the great Brooklyn fighter. And also bare, selling Tickle Me Elmos. Yeah, and also selling Tickle Me Elmos. He's training, Paul, he's training Paulie Malinaji in a bare knuckle boxing match while making vitamins in his mother's basement where he also lives and selling Tickle Me Elmos and training me to throw hands. And Jim Serpico's baking bread because he's having a midlife crisis. Yeah, Jim Serpico, <laughs> thank you. I have Jared Frieder. You'd be a fucking baker. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, Italian's like a side hustle that's not, But yeah. these are the kind of friends that I have Like Paulie Gassi He just sent me a text He just sent me a text of your flyer uh -huh. uh, Which got Andrew Andrew Schultz presents Giannis Papas Which uh, it's uh, April 23rd uh, 7 and 9.30 New York Comedy Club And you've named the special Blowing, Blowing the Light Yeah. So Paulie just sends me a message Explain to me something Why the fuck does everything have to be out blowing with this guy <laughs> And then he sends me three dicks. He goes, is he a fucking or what? Yeah. Yeah. He, he doesn't mean He means Meg directly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He lives in a pre-PC pre, pre -PC world. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so because of Did your Did you Marisa tell him that's the jargon? Or he just said, listen, the guy puts a wig on and he makes yeah. money from it. You do the math. You, that's what he said. Yeah. He said, yeah. He said, you can't tell me that guy doesn't love cops. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one way or the other. I mean, deep down, a kid like, he's, first of all, he's a Greek kid. Yeah. All right? I know a few Greek kids. I mean, yeah. there are not too many around here anymore. It used to be all dying, a couple Greeks. Yeah. Now we're getting attacked on all sides by fucking Chinese. That's but back in the 80s, I did have two Greek friends, and you telling me deep down they didn't yeah. want cock. It's part of their culture. Mm -hmm. Just like the Chinese like to eat dogs, Greeks like to eat dicks. Yeah, that's what And my it name is, is Paulie Gassy, and I can get you a tickle me elmo for half price. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz, cuz, yeah. yeah. Italians are funny kids, no matter which way you slice the dice. Yeah. All I'm saying is it's getting a little warmer out. I'm getting a little more violent. The Eastern Hemis better keep moving east. <laughs> Wei Song Xian. <laughs> cuz, no, that was the last one. I'm just kidding. I cause, just, it's just a silly podcast. Cuz, yeah, we're silly. Um, again, if you're new to the podcast, Wei Zhong Xing. That's when Zach hits that button. That means we're just kidding, and it clears the air. We're safe. We're just joking around. And I originally, I think Wei Zhengxing was a eunuch. I don't even remember where Wei it started. Wei Zhengxing was a eunuch. Yeah, so whatever it is, it's just, it clears. Yeah, Wei Zhengxing means we're joking. And when Chris said Eastern Hemi, he's directly referring to Chinese. Chinese. And the girl I cracked open in Pittsburgh on Friday, who I promised I wouldn't mention on the podcast. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it loud and cloud. You had fumes. <laughs> Wei Zhengxing. <laughs> Is, yeah, what was that? That was uh, the Catalan pronunciation. Can we hear that again? <laughs> <laughs> what can we designate that one for? I guess uh, you can go either one with those, right? You can go Cantonese or whatever. So you the one, you one more time? <laughs> 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 Cause does Eileen like to watch Game of Thrones? Yeah, Eileen. Eileen watch Game of Thrones. Have you ever come down, crawled down the neutrals, and then just seen a a a a, a, fey, a, a fog of Newport smoke, and through it you could see Jon Snow on the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I bet you. Yeah, and Eileen. She's Chris, can you pass me some saltines? Game of Thrones is on. Yeah, Jon Snow's hot. Um, yeah. she watches Game of Thrones. I think most of my family watches Game of Thrones. I watched it last night. If you uh, think for one second, Lynn, you know the guy who who who's uh, who's loyal to um, 
to uh, the dragon lady. Oh yeah, you know the older guy, that that British guy, yeah. the knight. Yeah, if you think Lin, Jer, uh, Jer Mormont, what's his name? Jora Mormont. Jora Mormont. You think if Lin, if you think for one second that Lin doesn't pop on HBO Go at twelve because she's not, no way, she's too frugal of a woman to buy HBO in the package, but she's got. One of your nieces and nephews fucking passwords. Yeah. And at 12 a.m. pops on Game of Thrones while she has a nice spotting. Yeah. And then thinks about banging out Gerard fuck Momon. Yeah. You got another thing coming. Yeah. Because if she don't think she had a couple wet dreams of sitting across a kitchen table at the top of the neutrals with Gerard Momon yeah. and sharing a link cuisine, yeah. you got another thing coming. Because if you don't think that there's now two nozzles in my shower, one for regular water and one for holy water after she flicks a bean at Pierce Bronson, you got another thing coming. <laughs> <laughs> Because she likes a handsome white older man, it's and it's what it is. It's just what it is. So uh, do I. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. This is my fourth cup of coffee. Yeah. I, you know I, what's so good about this yeah. podcast? What's good about it? I want some salmon. Chrissy Salmons. Yeah. Um, Pussy hat papas. Yeah. Pussy. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <sighs> no, what's great about this podcast? Because, by the way, Notre Dame, Cathedral Notre Dame is on fire. I know. Right we need now. to. We do need to. Um, we, need to we need to talk about that. We need to really take a moment and realize how much of that's a like tragedy ins- that is. That's yeah. actually truly insane. Yeah. And uh, they're saying it's a construction fire. Yeah, but we know who it really. We is. know who really who is what what's went down. We know who we know who burnt it on fire. We know we did it. Set. Yeah, and it begins with an S and it ends with an A N D I E. It's a little low, Zach. <clears throat> but I think it's a little low. But um, yeah, yeah, we're joking, obviously. Yeah. Wei Zhongxing. Yeah, let, but, me uh, just, let me just be crystal clear. If a hundred dollar member, Victoria Rajbaka, yeah, if if I check his Instagram and he's in Paris, I know who I know who fucking did it. <laughs> Victoria Rajbaka, the Sri Lankan comic based in Berlin, he also hosts the Anything Goes podcast, which is pretty much just sitting down and talking shit about comedy culture and current events with different artists from around the city. You can find links to all his dates, podcast episodes, and social media stuff on livefromthesandbox.com. And he can be found at Vidora Raj Pasca on all the social medias. Any And the Anything Goes podcast can be found to the link on the website, podcast.livefromthesandbox.com. And if you're on his Instagram right now and you see that he's in Paris, you better call Interpol because he's your suspect. <laughs> Look at me, I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> and we're also brought to you this week by our new sponsor. Welcome, our new sponsor, Ninth Street Auto Collision. Wow, I'll, they sound like they sell Tickle Me Almost too. Yeah, they might. Yeah. They can fix your car and also get you half price Barbies. Yeah. So, um, Ninth Street Auto Collision is located in Huntington. Station, New York. That's out there on the island. Oh, no, that's guys? on the island. Yeah, these guys are out there on the island. Yeah. Huntington Station, New York, 133 West Hills Road. Uh, you can give them a call, 631. Call them up. 351-5300. That's 631-351-5300. Now, they are a family business, so when you go there to get your car fixed or whatever you need with your car, you're supporting a family business out there on the island. And they've been doing it for over 20 years. They do great body work, and they give everyone a deal. That's their slogan. We give everyone a deal. So whatever it is, you're going to get a little something sliced off the top. And they work with all insurance companies, and they also do towing. So go out there. If you live out there on the island, and we know we got a lot of listeners on the island, Huntington Station, New York, uh, 9th Street Auto Collision, 133 West Hills Road, 631-351-5300. We appreciate our new sponsor. Fuck yeah. Yeah. And of course, we're brought to you as always. But probably, I would say this is, he's got to be captain captain of the matriarchy, right? Who? Captain of the matriarchy at this point. Who, who is? Harvey Spencer oh, Har- Jr. Yes, absolutely. Yes, a healthy smile family and cosmetic dentist, dentistry. Um, uh, at Healthy Smile Rock Hill is their Instagram. And um, it's a uh, it's a great new practice. Um, with I don't have the copy in front of me. It's listen. It's in it's in uh, where it's is in it? Rockville, South Carolina. It's in Rockville, South Carolina. Um, and he's told us that if you can, if you want to go down to South Carolina, go down to his office, get a cleaning. He'll crack your teeth open and clean them out for you. Uh, if you can prove that you have a pseudo penis, drop your pants right there in the uh, waiting room. You can prove that you have a pseudo penis. He'll give you a ten percent discount on your teeth. It's what it is. So if you want to get your your, your and if you have fumes, then you're not welcome. Yeah. So if you want to, get, 
If you want to get your teeth cracked open and cleaned out, you go down to a healthy, happy smile uh, down there in Rockville. Rockville. Rock Hill. See, that's yeah. how fucking stupid we are. Because if you don't think, if you Fuck. don't fucking think we're not going to Rock Hill, South Carolina and filming that for the History Hyenas Patreon members and getting our, ta- our teeth cracked open and cleaned out, you, you got, got another, another thing, thing coming. coming. Yeah, we should actually do that. We should seriously do that. Lee, Lee Harvey Oswald, we're coming to you. Lee Harvey, yeah, we're coming. <laughs> So listen, it's a healthy smile family in cosmetic dentistry. You can find them at www.ahealthyhappysmile.com at a healthy smile rock hill on Instagram. It's a state of the art practice with next generation gaming for kids and adults. Go get your teeth cracked open and cleaned out by Dr. Harvey Spencer Jr. Yeah. This yeah. is a hyena history. Fuck it. We should, at some point, we got to change the name to Hyena History. To Hyena History. Because you know right Listen. now, we don't know whether we're doing a Godfrey episode or a Charlie Ross episode. Let's just do Charlie Ross because it's 3 o'clock already. And make no mistake, Godfrey's definitely paying us back for him being bumped by Jim Gaffigan last week. And it's what it is. We got, we deserve it. Yeah. So let's just start with Charlie, Ro- Charlie Ross. Ro- Charlie Rose or Ross? Um, It's Charlie, R- Charlie Ross. <clears throat> so Charlie Ross was pretty much the first uh, child, like, national news child abduction case. This was the first, yeah. <clears throat> Charlie, this is an interesting, first of all, I learned about this, This uh, my my wife. Yeah, you got a per- wife. I got a wife now who's cooking me healthy breakfasts and is uh, is acting like a wife, which is great. Yeah, it's good. And now she's calling me. T- before 12 p.m., make no mistake, I'll get six calls about leftovers being in the, s- yeah. in the back of the fridge. So she's cooking now. She's cooking now. So, yeah, because, listen, she's cooking because at first she wasn't cooking, but then went in the honeymoon where the great laws of this country are not in effect. They went beyond the wall to Mexico. And let's just be honest, Mrs. Pappas had to get a little disciplined. And now she comes back and she's cooking. <laughs> because she's a Greek. She's half Greek and I'm Greek. <clears throat> so since we're Greek, she basically is my property, right? Is that yeah. what you were explaining she's to your me? Pro- she has no, yeah. That's How does why, it work? Yeah. So on, what, how it works now in the Greek faith is what the priest said in the ceremony. Yeah. Is that as soon as she said yes, then she's actually not a human anymore. She's just your property. Right. So she's Mr. Pappas's property. Right. So it's what if she has a name, you could call it Brittany, but you could also just call her your property. Right. You could just say, hey, your property's, your property's <laughs> talking too much. You know? <laughs> so that's what you could say. And the priest said that. That's yeah. not my words. Those are his. Right, right, right. So now she has to cook and clean and do whatever you want um, for the rest of her life. Right. And it doesn't matter even if. It doesn't matter. You, she's just always your property. Right. Yeah. I think that's exactly what he said, if yeah. I remember it correctly. That's what he said. Yeah. I, 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 that's what I think it said, but if I'm being, if I'm going to be crystal clear, I was staring at the bridesmaid right across the hall from me. He's tits. So I just wanted to crack one of those bridesmaids open and clean them out, actually two of them. Yeah. So I was kind of half listening. Yeah. And also I think your brother shit his pants on the altar he- too, Nico, so it's a little stinky out there. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's your view? You got a huge insight into women before we get into Charlie Ross. Yeah, because Charlie down- Ross is going to be, by the way, just yeah. real quick, Charlie Ross is a very, very interesting yes. thing. It's a sick thing, and it and it circles around Bay Ridge somehow, and we'll explain why. Yeah. So, no, I just wanted to say, you know, you think deep down women, women want to serve men deep down, no matter which deep way they slice it's it, right? It's in their DNA. Like, if there's a woman who, like, doesn't want to have kids, and uh, there's a little mental illness there, no? Yeah, it's a little mental illness. Imagine like- there was, like, another animal, and the female of that species was like, I want to find myself and be an independent. You're like, what are you doing? We're here to make people. Yeah. We're here to make That's people. We're here. Put a baby on your tit and act like a woman. It's okay? what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the longer it goes with no kids, no marriage, then then just the weirder it starts to get. Yeah, that's you just, just... look at Instagrams. It just it starts to get pretty weird. Yeah, that's so. the one thing. <clears throat> um, look, it's just it's just what it is. Yeah. At that point, it's just what... Do we still have it's just what it is in all the different languages? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to have it queued up. Yeah, but yeah. instead you're looking at fucking men's fitness. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what happened. Uh, thanks to my wife, as I mentioned earlier, she got me and Chris these two books. Of, it's called True Crime Bay Ridge. Yeah. And oh, the book that you gave me is my copy? That's your fucking copy, oh, Chrissy. Oh, so you let me borrow the book. No, my wife's thinking of you too. She's so fucking- Wait, Mike's leaving. Mike, Where the fuck go are you to going, Emoji Antonio? Face? Uh, I have to go defend the wall. Yeah. yeah. Hey, go defend the wall, baby. Yeah. When are you coming back, Mike? Uh, I'll be back next week. All where, right. where are you going, San Antonio? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got a little suitcase. Yeah, and a big gut. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mike looks good now. Mike, how much weight have you lost? Uh, last time, I, I gained five and lost that same five. Fuck yeah, dude. Well, you're maintaining. I'll good see you job, later, Mike. SA. Okay. 
All Make right. no mistake, Mike's a Mexican kid. Mike's a Mexican kid, but he did prove to me that he had his papers, so I'm not gonna did make. Prove a, it to I'm you? not gonna make an anonymous call to ICE. Did he take you to get some tacos down there? Mike is fucking yeah. No, Mike took me to all the good food spots. Check it out, home. Check it out. San Antonio's a boring city, though. Okay, go. So Charlie Ross. Oh, we're gonna we, do Charlie Ross. Okay. Yeah, we, we we learned about that. So my my wife got me and Chris. I, 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 do you have that book on you so Your we can property. shout out the offer? Because you property. My property got us. Godfrey just texted me, almost there, dude. So we're okay. going to have to just do so Charlie just, Ross. Yeah, we'll just wait, and we'll do Charlie Ross for the next episode. We could do Charlie Ross on the Patreon and just go to... You. No, we'll do another episode with Charlie Ross. We haven't even started. We teased it, which is good. And now we got a monthly coming in. Yeah. yeah. He said, almost there, dude. Okay. I'm going to say, okay, just come up. And then we're just going to have him on for about 20 minutes. Yeah. Or we'll just go... Yeah, we'll just yeah, we'll just do it. We'll just keep going. How? Wh- wh- where are we at, Isis? 30 minutes. Yeah. We're, this is So we'll have him on for a good, like, 40 minutes. We'll do an hour and 10 or something like that. Godfrey, if you don't know, hilarious comedian. One of the most hilarious, gifted comedians you'll see anywhere. Uh, been around for a little while. Obviously, fucking handsome kid. I mean, the kid is a good-looking kid. So fucking handsome, it's actually uncomfortable. Yeah, and he's just a funny kid. You can follow him on Instagram, at Godfrey. He's, his Instagram is huge. Yeah, he's a, he's just a funny kid. Been around for a while. Big he's, comic. He's probably going to talk to us at length about why just how Nigerians, white people, yeah. why white people are the worst and how Nigerians are actually the king of all people. Yeah, so make no mistake, this is about to be a goodie. Yeah, make no mistake, the best thing I love about Godfrey, yeah. the, or the funny, not the love, but the funniest thing about Godfrey is he's he's racist against everybody, including <laughs> blacks. And he's black, but he hates black people. But he's because he's just only loves Nigerians. Yeah, he he. I think he think Nigerians are superior. I think that's what he says. He yeah. says that openly on stage and in his Instagram. Said Nigerians are the superior people. Yeah, but there's somehow their history got robbed or whatever. Yeah, yeah, by the white piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, could be yeah. some truth to that. But yeah. I, you know, you just you just don't hear a lot about. I don't know anything about Nigeria except they play soccer teams and their best players always have different colors in their hair. Yeah, they always get their es hair done. Genau das, was es ist. Thank, Thank you. you. Now you're earning your money. Yeah, <clears throat> and yeah. once in a while you get a robocall from a prince to send them some money, and that's, that's just what, what, what it is. That's Do you know anything about Nigeria? I cute kids, cute kids, very handsome people. I think. I think they the the reason why they think that is because like that first first oldest bones ever found yeah human bones was Nigerian yeah is that was what happened Nigeria. happened in Nigeria yeah 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 just, that was a cute little tickle fart that was a cute little tickle fart because you got make no mistake you have a very punchable you, face you have a very long ass canal <laughs> you have a long asshole. <laughs> Yeah, because what it sounded like that sounded yeah. like a recorder right yeah like a like a, like a flute note but yeah it went some, it went some distance yeah 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 why are yours wet. Why are you always wet? Why do you got a wet asshole? Why I, is your ass in a swimming pool constantly? Because I think. Why is your ass a frog? Because I think that, I think that I just. There's never been a dry fart you've had. I know. I think it's. I don't know what it is. Even in the summer, just there's yeah. always just moisture with it. Maybe it's from all the. Um, maybe it's all from the salmon I eat. Maybe <laughs> I just got salmon swimming in my ass. Do you shart your fucking boxers a lot? Mm-hmm. You do, right? No, actually, I never do. I never have fumes, and I never shart. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so it's because you powder your balls. I got baby powder on my sack right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Godfrey's going to be coming up momentarily. And just before he gets on, just he has a full mental illness. <laughs> just, we just, just let, he is like a fully mentally, actually like true diagnosable mental illness human being yeah. that's just very, very talented. Very talented. Very, and very talented. Hilarious and also very, yeah. very good looking. He's in, you've seen him in a couple movies. He was in, he was in um, Zoolander. Yeah, where he he was like pretending to be Ben Stiller's character for a fan, second, which is laugh out loud funny. Yeah, he was so plain. He's he laugh had like out a loud funny, starring role in so plain. Laugh out loud funny. Yeah, I mean like him. He had a Kev- bigger role than Kevin Hart. He did. Yeah. He did. What other movies has he been in? Zach Isis. What before he gets here? Can you just pull up his? Um, he's the IMDb? most famous for the Seven Up commercial. Yeah, I mean, why does Mike Suarez think? Why does Emoji Face think that he can just walk out in the middle of the cast? Yeah. Is that because we're not paying him yet? Yeah. Probably. How long do you think it's going to be before he demands payment? I Pretty soon. It's going to be pretty fucking soon. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm just going to say, why don't we, you just go get me a coffee and get me a water? Yeah. Get Chris a water or a coffee? Yeah. Because when he you... smiles, it looks like someone just responded to my text. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It sounds like someone responded to my text, but they don't really want to correspond with me, so they just sent me an emoji. Instead of He's send... a fat kid. Instead of, instead of sending actual emojis, I'm just going to send Suarez's face <laughs> on text now. <laughs> Why didn't we do that while he was still here? Take yeah. a close up of his face. Yeah, that and been that'll funny. just be yeah, yeah. Can someone? And then anybody who becomes a Patreon member, we're just going to send them all a robot <laughs> text of Mush's face. 
face. <laughs> Listen, Andrew Agos or Metzger, what's his name? Metzger or one of our fans who are listening, can you please take Mike Suarez's face and make it into an emoji? Or this kid, this kid who did the no fumes feet. Somebody take Mikey Suarez's uh, face and, and just start making emoji emoji memes. Cuz, did you see on our Instagram, first of all, our YouTube is up and running. And it's fucking and starting to fly it's now. It's starting to fly. So go over to our, what's our, what's our YouTube again? History Hyenas. So it's youtube.com slash history hyenas. You can follow us on Instagram um, at uh, Instagram.com slash history hyenas. Yeah. Right? And also when you're listening to the podcast, rate, review it, subscribe to it. If you and listen, if you're gonna be a toot and not join the patreon.com slash bay ridge boys, if you don't want to be a non toot but you want to just be a toot, then the least you could do while you're listening to the podcast for free and being an absolute disgraceful toot is tell as many people as you can about our podcast. That's just as good as joining our Patreon if you just tell a bunch of friends yeah, also, to rate, review, and subscribe to it. Yeah, and the least you could do is go over to iTunes and leave us a nice review and five stars, okay? Yeah. Because me and Chris read all of them, and there's some of them that are 10 out of 10 funny. Somebody recently called us Wikipedia sluts. Yeah, which is <laughs> hilarious. And also, <clears throat> also... When you when you join patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys, we encourage you to make up a funny name. Yeah. Because we're gonna read your names out loud at the end of every podcast. So you know, be creative. Absolutely. Got any more, got any more be creative. Movies? And go to we got a new segment, Crystal Clear Chrissy on Instagram. So join our Instagram because we're gonna be doing a lot of content. Cause make no mistake, we're a couple of screwed in kids. Yeah. Now there's some new listeners, they want to know what screwed in means, what Wei Zhang Jin means. Listen, we're a cult. So if you want to know what something means, ask one of our followers. We're going to take over the world. Yeah, ask somebody. Go to patreon.com slash Boys and ask questions on the community board if you're a new member. And our fans, our members of the matriarchy, our members of the cackle will answer your fucking questions. Yes. Because okay? I can't be bothered with it. I'm in a bad mood. Yeah, and I'm a screwed in kid, so make no mistake, next week... April 23rd, if you live in New York City or the New York City area, yes. I am shooting my fucking special in a small comedy club because make no mistake, nobody else wants to make it. Yeah. But Andrew Schultz is producing it. He's a screwed in fucking Andrew kid. Andrew Schultz is the fucking rabbi right now. Because how screwed in is he? Because Andrew Schultz was bar mitzvahed and then he just once he just decided to go full Jew yeah he has just become I mean he sells out wherever he goes yeah the kid is just Andy ticket sales he is alt right Andy is the best nickname of all time too yeah he's and he's <laughs> screwed in his name should be Moisha. Andrew Schultz is a screwed in kid, and he's producing the special April 23rd, New York Comedy Club, two shows, 7 and 9.30. You're going to be hearing this if you're on the Patreon uh, Thursday, and then you're going to be hearing it if you're a toot on mon Monday or whenever uh, ISIS decides. Or whenever ISIS, yeah, whenever Tattoo Fingers decides to put it up. Yeah. If you don't think, let me tell Edward you something. Edward fucking scissor hands over here. We are fucking screwed in on this podcast, and we're going to bring you amazing content and amazing shit, and if you don't think that by the... First of all, here's the new thing. I told you once we get to 5,000 members, I'm going to send you a picture of my open asshole. That's number one. Number two, 10,000 Patreon members. 10,000 Patreon members. When we get there, I'm going to, we're going to throw, me and Giannis are going to throw ourselves and invite all the Patreon members to come. A bot mitzvah. We're going to throw ourselves a bot mitzvah. No, Fif it's going to be a bot mitzvah. A bot mitzvah. Yeah. 15,000 Patreon members, I'm buying a condo in Israel. So... <laughs> <laughs> At 15,000 Patreon members, make no mistake, yeah. I will put a down payment on a one beddy condo with a washer dryer in unit yeah. in Tel Aviv. Yeah. And so if we it's get just what it is. I'm going to go for you. Yeah. And if we get to 100,000 Patreon members, yeah. me, Chris, and Zach, and Mike Suarez, we're moving to Afghanistan and we're joining ISIS. It's just what it's it just is. what we're going to do. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to just join the caliphate. Yeah, I'm just going to yeah, I'm going to just fucking just scream death to America and yeah. I'm just going to do it. We're just going to go the other way yeah. or we're just going to get full sex changes. Yeah. Cuz we could we will do that just for content. Yeah. Would you let's make a deal right now. If we get to 100,000, not 100,000 dollars, I'm talking about 100,000 members. Yeah. We promise you me and Chris will just start taking estrogen for content. Yeah. We'll it, start doing videos as women as we transform. Let me be crystal fucking clear. My daughter's godfather is an emergency room doctor. When we get to 100,000 Patreon members, I'm going to call him up and say, come over here, take a piece, of, take a chunk of flesh off my ass, peel my dick off, and give me a clit. I'm getting a sex change <laughs> right in Brooklyn. 
right in Bay Ridge. I'll get a sex change. We'll film it. We'll put it on the Patreon if we get to a because if we got to a hundred thousand Patreon members, I mean, we'd be making a lot of money. That would be, we'd be we'd be we'd be, a, we'd be making a lot of money at that point. We would be doing really good. Look, we're joking. We're joking. Okay, we know it's a it's an old stereotype that Jews make money, and we joke with that. Here's the deal: we know we grew up in New York City. We know a lot of Jewish kids. My best friend is Jewish. I got Jewish family members, actually. Here's the deal. Jews are just good businessmen. It's just what it is. So hats off to you guys. Jews know how to fucking do business. They do it real good. So stop hating on Jews and respect Jews because they know how to be screwed in and make some dough. Fuck yeah. That's what it is. Fuck yeah. At this point... um. Yeah. I don't know if we should just continue with Charlie Ross or if we should wait for Godfrey. I mean, well, do you want to just quickly talk about Charlie Ross? I mean, it's such an interesting episode. We're caught in between right now. I mean, the fans listening now in their cars um, during their runs, they're having a great time. Yeah. Because we're going wild, and but we don't know what direction we're going with, so this is an interesting thing. Yeah. But we deserve this. This is kind of like what this, yeah, this is like a never before kind like a very interesting territory episode because we, we are stuck in no man's land. We right are, now. we are in absolute no man's we're in land. No man's right land. Now. This episode's going to be called No Man's Land is Wild. Yeah. Because we're supposed to be having Godfrey come up. Yeah. And but, he says he's on his way. And he says he's on his way, but that he also may be getting a shape up. It could so, be happening. It could be happening. So I don't know where he is. He also could be at the wrong place. He could just be being Godfrey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we just don't know. We were about to start Charlie Ro- Ross. Which is a, such an interesting episode. Yeah. But I, I also can't talk. Yeah. Because I'm just slowly losing my voice. Yeah. Why, why you? What, what happened? What, what did you take on too much today that you're in this situation? No, it's not taking on too much. I just, I had a six. What time did you get in? We had, you what know, time's your flight? 4 a.m. wake up, 6 a.m. flight. Oh, boy. Landed at 8.30. Yeah. Um, And then I had a meeting at 11. Oh, boy. This, we got this from 2 to 6. Did you sleep last night? I, I mean, you know, the show ended by 12, so as much as I could. I got a 7 p.m. lunch, uh, 7 p.m. dinner meeting yeah. tonight, and then I got fucking Legion of Skanks from 9 to 11, 9.30 so, to 11.30. But all that stuff is unavoidable. Yeah. It's all part of my comedy set. I have to do these things. Yeah, you do. So it's like, it's just, there's nothing I can do. Like, there's no hours extra did you sleep, Two? I mean, you know, by the time you get the show ended at 12. Right. Because, you know, they you didn't sleep sold the it out. Either. No, it's, it's a two, it was a two-hour flight. It's Cleveland. Right. I tried. I mean, I slept a little bit. I tried to sleep for an hour or two on the, on my, in my bed at home. How were the shows out there in Cleveland? Oh, fantastic. Where were you? Pittsburgh and Cleveland? Pittsburgh, Fredonia, and then Cleveland. What's uh, Fredonia? Fredonia University. Oh. And Which, you were with the great Sal Volcano. Sal Volcano, Sally Webfeets. Um... They were amazing. I mean, Sal's crowds, it's just, yeah, it's, it's great. You know what's you know what's actually truly like a good thing about hanging out with Sal is it makes me appreciate the comedy, the art of what I do more because nobody cares about me. Like, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, if I'm going to make them laugh. Right, you got to be do, funny. I have to be funny because they genuinely don't care. I mean... If, if, if you're the kind of person who's like who's got a fragile ego or is very insecure, then don't work with a guy like Sal Volcano, even though he's so great, because people will people were I'm telling you twice. Yeah. I got actually pushed out of the way yeah, yeah. because they just want Sal. And then I, I got I'm not lying. I'm not lying. In three days, at least 30 people asked me to hold the camera to take a picture yeah. of them out in public. So you have to just put aside your work. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, but what about me? I'm a comedian too. No, 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 no. Nobody cares. Right. Nobody cares. Right. So you have to be very secure with yourself. So coming on the other side, I feel good about that mentally where I'm like, that stuff because is- Because your bank account looks nice when you're done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That helps with the ego blow, right? Oh, when yeah. Just, hold on. Godfrey's- Hold on, hold on. Godfrey's calling me. I'm going to put it on the cast. Yeah, put it on the cast. Yeah. What's up, son? Wait, which button do I press, goddammit? Oh, number four. You didn't even tell me. You say nothing. I Yeah, well, I just thought you knew. I thought you'd been up here already. I don't know the fucking button. I'm not up there all the time. What the fuck? Open the fucking door. Yeah, all right. Zach, Zach's coming. Yeah. Zach's coming to open the door. He's Middle Eastern. Is that okay with you? Uh, it's okay. Does he have a fucking bomb on him or something? It, pro- well, he's, he's, he's jacked. Yeah. <laughs> he's jacked? He's Well, he's... he's, well, he's not he's, as jacked as Godfrey. Not as jacked as Godfrey, but... What the fuck? All right, so yeah, come upstairs, come upstairs, and then we'll come right on. We'll start right right away with you. Yeah. God damn uh, you. All right. 
this is going to be a lot of fun. This is the this is this episode has just been kind of yeah. It's almost like we're living in a. No, no, let's just keep rocking. This is good for the people. Yeah, let's just keep doing it. Zach's been doing a lot of shoulder press. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're starting to look basketball shape. Yeah. Well, you're I'm, starting to look like lanky and skinny. Yeah. And you're the. it's not because you get, it looks less funny and more kind of American Christopher X. Yeah. So you so, got to, I don't know. Yeah. It's a toss up. What's up, Carl? Oh God, this too wow, much. Wow, look at God's too much. Yo, your jacket's too long. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> yo. What's up, what, what, what? I'm just saying, you two good looking kids. Bro, thank you. I appreciate. Yeah, come on, you. get out. Congrats on your marriage. Thank your you. Your wife is amazing looking. Thank You're you. You're a good looking, fucking rugged Greek. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Yo, Godfrey's fucking jacked. Yo, Godfrey's always fucking jacked. Come on, get him. Yeah. Start it off. Yeah. Fuck yeah, Godfrey's in here. <laughs> we were just in here, and Zach just said that he doesn't believe Nigerians started civilization. That's what Zach That's said. That's what Zach said. And, yeah. I, and they said, Godfrey can rebu rebuttal yeah. that. He said, I'll Godfrey give can rebuke that. Oh, Godfrey can tell you that. In fact, Yo. they did. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not yeah. Wait, you got to turn on his mic, Zach. What's wrong with my mic? Oh, he's doing oh, that on purpose. Racist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Anyway, speaking of microphones... There's a brother, I know, you know, you said I should come in here with like black inventions and sure. all kind of black shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, you said that. <laughs> yeah. No, you did. You said, yeah. it. you were like, they say, God, we got black things we want to talk yeah. about. Can hey, you come listen, over here? Listen, Can we, you come over here and yeah, talk listen, about black things? We're doing something very new on our podcast. We're going to have a black guy come up. So. <laughs> <laughs> we're very selective on our black guys. Yeah, you God, understand. Godfrey, you're on our list. You can't, you got to be careful. So. <laughs> Be careful. See, you're like you're our like litmus test on what's racist. That's yeah, why we call Godfrey. Yeah. He's yeah. a neutral black. Yeah. I like that guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're not biased or nothing. You're right in the middle. Yeah, I like nice gray zone black. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Godfrey's a Chicago kid. Chicago I sure kid. am. But he's right. a Yankee fan. Big yeah, time. Yeah. Let me tell he, you why. Because we're Yuck winners. Please. You damn right. And I am a Cub fan for life. Grew up around Wrigley Field. My high schools are right across the street from WGN, right across the street. You can oh, see shit. it right across. So my whole life, I lived in Wrigley area. Is that Wrigleyville? Wrigleyville. Yeah. I really, I, that's north side. And the Cubs were so bad. Like, 100-something years, dude. There's people who are dead. Yeah. My parents are gone. Everybody's gone. So when we won the World Series... Motherfuckers were dead, bro. Like, yeah. people were like a new yeah. generation of people. Like, hey, the Cubs won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you just started knowing about the Cubs. Yeah. People were dead, and so I would turn from the Cub games and I would watch the Yankees because I was a big Reggie Jackson fan. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, who didn't want Afro spilling out the side of their hats? Oh, I yeah. know a lot of people yeah. didn't want it. But. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that I wanted to be Reggie Jackson, the best black guy on the fucking theme. He really Mr. was Rock, by far the best. Dude, first of all, by he, far. you hitting home runs with sunglasses on? Yeah. You give me a fucking break. Yeah, that's Absolutely. True. Which, yeah. Do they realize he had sunglasses yeah. on? Not Seven. even like sports sunglasses, like no. just shades. Yeah. Shades and hitting the ball coming at 90-something miles like an hour. Like he's at the beach, but he's at yeah, home yeah. plate. At home stadium. plate, sitting there yeah. in a fucking beach chair. Yeah, it's like your that. fucking pitch, piece of shit. The 70s was a good era where guys used to smoke cigarettes. You ever see oh, those oh, pictures yeah, of like yeah, Dave yeah. Parker just smoking a cigarette? Oh, yeah. well, yeah. Dave the Parker snake, was the cobra, nuts. right? Yeah, yeah. The cobra. Yeah. When yeah. Dave Parker threw a man out from all the way from oh, uh, my God. right field yeah. and gunned him down. On the fly. On the fly. Didn't even bounce. Not, not even bounce. The only other guy I ever saw that could close match his arm is Vladimir Guerrero. But other than Guerrero, yeah, other each, than that, Ichiro had a crazy Ichiro arm. Ichiro has a crazy Ichiro, Ichiro, yeah. Ichiro Which is weird because he was built like a vegan piano teacher. <laughs> yeah. A vegan yeah. He had a gun. piano yeah. teacher. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. That's yeah. skinny as fuck. He was a skinny kid. Ichiro. Yeah. Yeah. Ichiro. Ichiro. I love it because he always did the slap the slap swing. Yeah. yeah. Like like fucking girls softball. What yeah. fuck was that? Yeah, I don't like, know. He's fucking Jap so weird. Listen, you, you got 900,000 hits. Yeah, because you slap it. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. You run away from the goddamn plate. You can make a case that he's the best like hitter of all time. Ichiro? Ichiro. You Ichiro can, make, you can yeah. make a case. Is it is is it numbers wise? He's is he beat did he beat Pete Rose? He I think for the first no. ten. Stan no. Musial, no. Pete Rose. He didn't beat Pete Rose. But did he combine beat his Pete Rose? If you, stats. If you com he started. He Japanese stats is like fucking transferring community college fucking credits to fucking Harvard, all right? <laughs> Shut your mouth. Not really. They're good. Well, they're, they're good. very good. Listen, yeah. hold on. We just relax. touched knees. We had a gay moment. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Now, I'm glad you didn't have your shorts on. All right, listen. <laughs> 
Like the 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 guy who has the most home runs more than a hit Aaron Sadahara O. Sada O is the is a Japanese Japanese home. guy. He's yeah. a, the Babe Ruth of Japan. Look him up. Sada O. They call him Sada O. And Godfrey he, knows a lot of shit. I don't yeah. fuck around. He's a smart kid. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you. <laughs> Slurp. <laughs> He's, he's slurping is. a fucking tea. Oh, you yeah. would think we'd have liquor here. We got teas and yeah. coffees yeah. and little fucking ice drinks. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about my sinus infection. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet ass Whitney Houston t-shirt. Fuck yeah, dude. That's how oh, I, I love that shit. Nice that one, cuz. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, that's 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 gangster shit right yeah. there. Yeah. Whitney secure. Houston. Yeah. No, Chris, but Whitney Houston's a gangster. You have DMC. Yeah. Yeah. DMC. I love Look that, that you don't have run. We didn't even plan that. Look at that. We both have we call that music black on. superstars on our guys, shirts. You guys, and, well, and it's the, the, and the podcast. And he's got Dr. I'm J, on. black superstar on yeah. shirt. But I know white people love wearing black people on their t-shirts. Yes. I know You won't wear your own people. You yeah. always wear black people this on your t-shirts. This is what we want. They always have the Ali t-shirts, yeah. Jimi yes. Hendrix, because white, what do you have? What would you wear? George Washington? Washington, what the fuck yeah, would we you wear? Yeah, we wear Washington. Who, who would you have? Who's Gretzky? our like, white guy that we could rep? No, well, I, Ethan Hawk, Bird I want an Ethan Hawke shirt. Did you wear a Larry Bird? Larry uh, Bird t-shirt would be like you're rebelling. Like, yeah. you know, he, he's great, but stop. But I'll tell you off the stop. top of my head, the, my t-shirts that I wear the white, most. White you're right, all black people. My Whitney Houston t-shirt. Whitney no, Houston. I'm talking about black. Uh -huh. Whitney Houston. A Penny Hardaway t-shirt. Penny Hardaway. I got an MLK t-shirt. MLK, yeah. Martin Luther King. I got, yeah, I got that t-shirt. What else? And then I got a Muhammad Ali t-shirt. I got a Muhammad Ali keychain and t-shirt. Yeah. And then um, and then uh, that that's it. Yeah, as far as I'm trying to think. But you don't have any white people, none. Yeah. I, I have a Larry Bird, that's it. But that's yeah. it. But Bird is like, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Bird was like the Eminem of the NBA. Yeah. And black people made Larry Bird cool. Thank you. Because I played bat my generation, I played basketball. Yeah. If you were good and you were white, they called you Bird. I'll they called you, what? you yeah. Bird. You know, you know who the only white guy I'll wear on my shirt? Who, and I don't who? give a fuck what you say because he's white. Jesus Christ. Jesus not white. He's not white. He's yeah, not he is. white. I yeah, know he's, he's not. More. He's not white. Let me tell you why he's not white. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why. He's not white. All right? Let me tell you why he's not white. Because first of all, I know he's not white because blonde. People don't go through the problems he went through, okay? Right, right. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. has dark people problems, all right? Yeah. He got dark skin problems. I know yeah. this. Are you saying right? he's, a, he's Sandra D? <laughs> Sandy? Look at me, I'm Sandra D. Me, I'm Sandra D. I don't know. Virginity. Don't go to bed. Okay, that's Stalker Channing, folks. Grease. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I White just, woman. I just finished watching. <laughs> they had a black guy on Grease. He was on the sh uh, the, the band. Remember the little oh, yeah, band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the one black guy. He didn't say shit. He was like Franklin and fucking Charlie Brown. Yeah. yeah. Remember Franklin? Yeah, the yeah. He was the chocolate version of Charlie Brown. Yeah. Anyway, um, I just watched uh, uh, finished watching the documentary of Alan Carr. Uh -huh. okay. Who produced Grease? It's fantastic. This video, this documentary is the shit. Really, really? called Alan Carr. He produced Grease. Literally was behind the brains of Grease, and he was this flamboyant gay dude, and ended up fucking up his career at the end. But he produced Grease. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's it's like great. A, yeah. It's just imagine being behind such a smash hit. It was a smash. That's a hit. smash. Hit. Imagine being the guys that because just recent Game of Thrones. Imagine you created Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, what you're good your for fucking life. life is like. You're good for life. It was like the Super Bowl yesterday yeah. with the first episode coming out dude, in two years. It I was like Super Bowl party. I didn't see it, but I have a new twenty minutes on it. Yeah. yeah, because I didn't see it, right. right? And motherfuckers that are mad at me because I haven't seen it yeah. yet. I haven't finished all the seasons yet. Wow, dude, you're what's one wrong of, with you, Godfrey? Shut yeah, up. Godfrey's one of the most prolific comedians, truly. Of all, I mean, Godfrey's one of the most talented comedians, yeah. in yeah. the world. If he wasn't a pussy, yeah. he'd be a fucking rock star. Yeah. <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not even addicted to pussy though. That's yeah. not. I don't. My thing is, I don't spend my time trying to fuck. I, I right. mean. I'm busting ass. I bust my ass doing shit. Dude, I, I go but on you auditions. have cleaned up some dime pieces. I oh yeah. yeah. I get Guys, tell the story about the girl who just came up to you in the middle of the street, just started making out with yeah, you. Yeah, that happened in Montreal. So fucked, we were hanging out. Remember that girl started making out with you in the <laughs> you street? You cheated on his girlfriend with that one, but it's what it is. Whoa, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you probably don't even remember because no, it happens to you a lot. <laughs> Yeah, Wait, you don't have to cut it. You oh, okay. Keep it. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not. I'm single. It's yeah. Fuck. Oh, okay. I'm single as fuck. Yeah. So well, we were in Montreal. Of shit trying to, trying to bury hey, me. I, no, but I, I <laughs> cut out because I ain't a fucking rat. You know that, guy. I, I know you know you are a rat. Ew. You, you, I'll say you're a mouse. Yo. Not too bad. Not as big as a rat. Yeah. <laughs> so we were walking but, in Montreal late at night, and he's, yeah. they recognized him. It was like it was, a guy was there too. Yeah. You, you don't remember this probably. I can't remember. Yeah. So we were walking, and then this girl just started making out with you. 
Oh shit, my fault. My yeah. fault. Oh, that's yeah. your phone? Yeah, it happens. Oh. It happens. Yeah. It happens. So she started Sometimes. making out with him. And then the girl he was bringing to the show was we a were twelve because we did like nineteen. We did, did the like nine. They make you show. do like nineteen shows, <laughs> and they don't appreciate show, yeah. you. Go yeah, ahead. for the ethnic <laughs> show. And then this fucking dime piece he was rolling in with. Yeah, what was she? White girl, black girl, black. Spanish girl, black, black girl, black, but like French, French girl. Canadian yeah. girl. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> it's like it's not even fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's French Canadian. I know it's unbelievable. French, she was from France. She was, she was like Mont- Congo, Quebec. like Congo, French Paris, that real mm. French. Then she moved to Montreal for college. Oh. It was fucking sweet. Yeah, if it's you amazing. guys, if you two guys combine forces. You could, can Voltron you could bitches? clean this place up. We, we, yeah, Voltron. Well, yeah. yeah, Voltron. Well, because I like I, you, because you, your preference mostly black women. Yeah, my preference is mostly black women, but I have. Yeah, not with other ones. Too. Yeah, he likes. So I like, go and I like mostly like Puerto Ricans. I like mostly Spanish. Puerto Ricans, so we right. can take over the Bronx. We tomorrow. can take over the Bronx. We can, <laughs> we can go. Wouldn't we be in cop uniforms? Just get Yo, out the car, just yeah. banging. And everything. go like this. Hey, let's go get a coffee. Yay! Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can just be a cop team. Yeah, yeah. just a fake cop team. They go. Yo, who are those two cop guys? <laughs> yeah, just like this vanilla and chocolate squirrel. Yeah, We're like uh, from the 30 second precinct. I want to hear why Jesus isn't white. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 let me hear you why Jesus isn't white. First of all, Jesus isn't white because he should be here he's late right so he's, he's that's another thing he Bum. rolled with a, a posse yeah. that's black shit to right. roll with a Who whole call? bunch of motherfuckers yeah. you feel me and like i said um if jesus was a white dude i should have why would a- he like crab legs so much <laughs> <laughs> What Black dudes love about? crab legs. Uh, no, I don't. You don't? So, oh, yeah, okay. you're yeah. fucking with a different kind of guy. Uh, yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. Exactly. I have a Donald Rollins. Exactly. That's yeah. Rollins. Yeah. That's, yeah. Rollins. Yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Godfrey. Shout God, out to Rollins. Godfrey is black, but he's more racist against other blacks than some whites are. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth about it is. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Nigerians superior. number one no, with ni- you. Well, uh, Nigerians, yeah. there yeah. is that African-American and African <laughs> beef that we have. Yes. Because, let me tell you, because... You know, in Africa, they'll show African Americans as thugs and this, this, that stereotypes, and then here they'll show Africans with flies on their belly and shit, which yeah. is t- true to a point. But there's people with flies on their head in America. Sure, you know what I mean. But and then so when Africans and African Americans meet, that's when they fucking butt heads because oh, I'm better than you, I'm better than you. But we're both in a jail cell. It's like right, weird, right. you know what right, I mean. Right. But here's another thing about Nigerians, just to let you know a little. You know, I like this knowledge shit. No, Nigerians have the highest. Degrees in in education in the world and amongst immigrants and in America, we hold the highest degrees in engineering, in medicine. Wow, really? The whole Nigerians have the highest. I yeah, thought that's that was the, I thought it was the Indian kids. No, fuck no. no. We smash them, please. Smash them. Yeah, Come smash on, man. Them. Asians too. Come on. Th- and we got bigger dicks. Stop. My, yeah. True. Big dicks and big fucking grades. Let's yeah. keep it moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my doctor, my my, <laughs> my pediatrician growing up was 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 Nigerian. Yeah, I of course yeah. it was fantastic. Yeah, it was see, great. See, you know what's funny. Is Chris looks like a dude that would never deal with ethnic people. You look like you beat every ethnic person. Look, they call, me, they call me American yeah. Chris to react. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, he looks he, like you literally look like every douchebag in every frat movie yeah. on yeah. the planet. But yeah. you're so like my my pediatrician was Nigerian. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah you're like yeah. not. You're such the opposite. I'm the opposite. Yeah. But, that, but that's what I think. My comedy is they they think <laughs> yeah. I'm going to talk about this that, but I'm yeah. talking about diverse groups. I'm talking that's, about my like, acid reflux. You're like. <laughs> Ghosts, I'm talking about you're, ghosts. You're like, <laughs> they're like, why is he talking about banging chicks in the ass? You're like, you're like me. You're like me. Yeah. People, yeah. they look at us, they look at our physical specimen. Yeah. And they go, mm, and then all of a sudden I'm talking about fucking um, Planet Earth 1 and 2 yeah. and David Attenborough and his Dude, brother I'm Richard. You're fucking man, nerds, is what I'm you're telling saying. you, man. Yes. Yeah, we, we share, we, I would, go, we, I, um, what, Cleopatra, right? Was where you were doing the last year when we did Montreal. We were doing was, uh, Cleopatra, the, you, the club. He was doing his hour at whatever, 8 to 9, and I was doing mine 9 to 10. So yes. I would come and see, yes. the, uh, the, some, I would watch the whole, ep, uh, the whole hour a couple yeah. of times, but I would always be there every night for like the end, and like every single time, he was fucking smart. Smashing, wall shaking with new material, yeah. and I was just up there struggling with my bullshit. Yeah. That it was fucking depressing. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like where I was just like, "What am I supposed to do here?" Yeah, but then I don't know. But then I, I just but figured I just, out. I this comes no, from, no, seriously. But I can go, tell you where this comes from. You know, yeah. Mo Mandel. Sure, Mo 
uh, opened up a couple of the shows. He asked that to come kid's on. screwed in. He's a screwed in Jew. Yeah, he's no Roman doubt. Dumb. He's no ju- he, yeah. angry motherfucker too. Very angry. He's yeah. angry. He looks yeah. like a he looks like a handsome '70s action star. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. does. Yeah, he, he looks does. like a, he's, he's like he looks like a ha- like a handsome handicap guy. <laughs> right. Like you know what I mean? Like he's handsome, but he's got some kind of illness. You know what I mean? Like he's he's I I see he's a he's a cute kid, but it's like I can see where it lays back out, but he's frail. <laughs> Like he's got tuberculosis or something. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. He hides no, that Mo's one skinny arm. He yeah, hides yeah, yeah. that one skinny like he's arm. Got, like he's got, he had polio when he was a kid, so he limps around like a dick, but he's still cute. <laughs> Yo, that dude fucks, even though he has polio leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he fucks. Yo, um, he, he saw my shows and he said, and yo, Mo is a... You know, Mo's a fucking alpha. Yeah, you know. he created Comedy Knockout, yeah, I believe. He yeah, he goes, he goes, yeah. I just want to tell you, man, I've never seen anybody do Smash with different hours. That I agree, was impressive. Man. But it comes from just work ethic. You know our work ethic here. Nigerians always, especially, too. We're, yes, no doubt. Yeah. We're always on stage, and I'm always last. Me, yeah. I tell, we're always... The reason why I go last... It's is, a preference for you to go last. It's a preference because I can I can do more time. I do a little extra time. Yeah. No one said that. I can do... I do 30 minutes. I don't do 15. I fucking... While Will is doing 20, 20 minutes in between everybody, yeah, yeah. I'm doing 30. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I can sneak in because yeah. nobody's really around yeah. and I can work new shit out. So I'm always throwing new shit in. What can I do? Because I already got this shit. I don't want to do that during the, the, during the week, week weekday. I'm yeah. supposed to work new shit. So yeah. I'm always working new yeah. shit. I'm never afraid. I always work new yeah. shit. So I kind of put myself yeah, in Yeah, that well, that's, that's well, the, 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 the silver lining, the positive thing of me watching you so much try that new shit. And even though I was like, fuck, like it was a struggle there for me. But I, then I started because I had to write a new yeah. hour because yeah. I was doing an hour special at the yeah. end of that year. Yeah. And I was like, all the new stuff that I came up with the last 15 minutes was pretty much motivated by you. Because I was like, this guy just fucking takes chances. Because yeah. there were certain things that I'd say, oh, that didn't get a big laugh. But then the big laugh was coming right away. Yeah, Where, yeah. like, sometimes it's very easy for comedians to just, like, stick with the shit that they know. Yeah, and I go, not I, take I, a big chance. But I, like, I, You know why I do that? Because I this is my, I was just thinking about this the other day. Um, I sneak in new shit because I, I got them to like me already. Yeah. So I'm already likable. Okay, I've done 20 minutes of ooh, ooh, ah. Uh, now I'm like, I'm going to throw new shit in. New yeah. shit in, yeah. I, they like me now. Well, you so have so much charisma, too. Space. It's and like the charisma's off the charts. You, this, that's why the space is there to try new shit, because they're already like, all right, man, we're with you, man. Right. And then what if you murder with the new shit, and what yeah. if you don't? But the fact that I have the, I'm comfortable with doing new shit because they're allowing me. Right, you know, right, it's right. kind of this, it's a weird mental thing, but that's the reason why I let them like me, let them like me, then I yeah. just go... Oh, let's talk about white people and their fucking hatred. Exactly. He's like, wait a minute, you were just talking about hockey. <laughs> yeah. Do you think white people have a, just a hatred in them? There's something just I, all white people. We have a devil. It's like in a us. European. I, yeah. I yeah. think it's it's it's. It, you know, they found it, out we it, all have like Neanderthal DNA. Have you heard well, that you latest guys, thing? You know, yeah. I, white I tell people. You, only no, white, white people. people. No, yeah. you guys. No, you know when white people say, um, "Let's," you know, we can keep it real here. Yeah. Black that, people, yeah. you fucking monkeys. White people are closer in DNA to monkeys than we are. Yes. You're closer to monkeys. And when you shave a monkey, it's white yeah. under it. It's just yeah. the brown hair. Yes. And Looks like Chris. monkeys okay. have small dicks. And they're always grabbing shit that don't belong to them. Yeah. How the fuck and are the, we yeah. the monkeys? Yeah. I just want to know. Yeah. And they all prefer- know. It's weird that they call us yeah. monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. When white people yeah. anthropologically yeah. are closer to monkeys yeah. Yeah. than yeah. black people are. Yeah. 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 White, <laughs> white, white people, yeah, white people are close. White people. I guess they are closer <laughs> to monkeys. I guess we are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You guys are talking about comedy. Yeah. I want to talk about this. Yeah. No, do, do, monkeys, saying... do monkeys rent their furniture from rent a center? <laughs> <laughs> more white people more white people are poor in America than it's there true. are. So That's fuck true. That. That's a fact. Rent a yeah. center is white. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. That's a fact. You, been, you know we travel to these bumblefuck towns. That's yeah. true. And you've seen some white poverty. Oh, yeah. You see ratchet whites yeah. and black. You're like, yes. oh, yeah. shit. Yes. I'm telling you, man. That's the beautiful thing about what we do. We go, this is a ghetto The only spot. time oh, I've yeah. ever felt uncomfortable, oh. like fear for my safety in my life a few times, <laughs> has been a pack of white guys, not a, a pack pa- of black guys. A pack a of white bla- guys. Blacks, black people, every time I've had an encounter with black people, it's always been like family, fun, playing ball. It was great. <laughs> yeah, but like, there's only times I've been like, shit, I'm going to get my ass beat. There's been white idiots <laughs> from Howard Beach. <laughs> Like white Italians are like, yo, yeah. you fuck Francesco. I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh no. Because yeah, don't I would think that Italians would be like haters against each other because 
you could like have a better hair than that yeah, guy yeah. goes, oh, this I fucking hate this guy. Yeah. This fucking, he thinks his hair is better than yeah. mine. Yeah. You piece of shit. Yeah. You know what if I mean? you got the part, like I got a part on <laughs> my left because I used to get it in my right. Like, that's the gay side, you know? <laughs> but you got to admit, African-American culture, yes. not Nigerian. Right, right. right. Is African-American, African-American culture mm-hmm. is the most popular culture in the world. Which is, is interesting, oh, yeah. considering how small how is. small the actual population. What do you size. mean it's the most popular? Like, I mean, no, African like American well, culture is the black, most black culture. Black culture is the most famous culture. Internet, it's taken over you know the why? world. But you know why? The ra- the the music, the the the, the, the dress, the style, the, the whole the but style. You know the whole why? Thing. It's interesting. Why? You know why? Well, all the other cultures are kind of corny. Yeah, I mean, really, swagger. Like, listen, swagger. Now, listen. Like listen, other than ba- like basketball, if you're a basketball player, you're gonna you're gonna run into brothers, and all you're gonna do is talk about black players. Yes, you're sir. never really gonna talk about white dudes. Dirk was about- pretty good too, though. Mm. There's always one. It's, he's all right. The, he's the cool. only white guy. He, you're not gonna wear his, his the only, jersey. The only no. white guy that I will say, I'll <laughs> no. say, Godfrey, just give me this. The only white guy that you could mm. put always in the conversation though is Bird. Of course, just Bird is. If, of I, if you could give us can. one white, you, you give can, us Bird. You can put Bird. You could put Stockton. Yeah. You could put um, Mullen. You can put some, cats but it's just a few. The just mo- a few. majority right. is black. Yeah. It's majority. a black sport. It's one hundred percent. It's yeah. a black sport. It's a black sport now. It, it was. It was dis- supposedly designed by James Naismith, the Canadian um, doctor. That guy. He's a um, Canadian American. Yeah. Then I found wait, wait, out Canadian American. Yeah, can, he, a Canadian. Yeah, he's yeah. like Canadian American. Yeah, but Cana- well, he's Canadian American. Like, he, no, he moved it. to Kansas. Oh, he did. He's from, born and raised in Canada. Right. But he That's why they Kansas have the Naismith Hall of Fame. Why the, the fuck na- would somebody from Canada move to Kansas? I, well, I don't know. Because Canada looks just the to same. find more white people. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Whiter than what he already had. If yeah. you've been to Canada. So yeah. So go on. But he, um, I found out. I said, let me look up who created basketball because I don't always believe white people. So I said Naismith. So it, it was the 11th century. It was Native Americans that created basketball. Really? Oh. Yes, Native American. It was like a hardcore blood sport where they had hoops, but they you could tackle and you could bow. Oh, I read run. about this where actually the winners yes. were the ones who were killed. If you won the game, there was like some ceremony Wait. they would do where they went to the basketball, there was the hoop was on the side. It's in the yeah. movie Apocalypse. That doesn't make sense though. Uh, no. Because then you would just lose on no, purpose. No, 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 no. Because being because death to those people yeah, was like that's a, a different, different thing. Level I'm of tribal you, shit. If you would win, it was yeah. like such an honor to be sacrificed. Yeah. So it, well, it wasn't about living long lives in their. It cultures. wasn't James Naismith. So I, every time is I is that true? It's mm-hmm. like it's is like that when, true. Yeah, yeah. So they, like, the winners would kill themselves. Hey, hey man, I didn't. They hear willingly about that would part. be sacrificed if they won the game. But I know it was a Zach, fucking bloody sport. That? Yeah, and. It's like with um, hockey, if you know, can I? Because you said you want me to come up with little black facts. Yeah. I love black. And, f- well, no, I just wanted you to hockey, talk. You know, well, we talked about talking, history. I was talking about hockey and yeah. in, in Canada, and I was talking about sports and how we're better than everybody in sports. Just to, I wanted to bait white dudes. Sure. Yeah. I was like, we're way better than you in sports. And one dude goes, Yo, what about hockey? Eh? What about hockey? Eh? Yeah. And I said, Well, listen, eh, do me this favor, eh? I want you to put pull out your phone and look up Colored Hockey League eighteen ninety five. Colored Hockey League, which was started 22 years before the NHL, wow. is black um, African Canadians came up to um, Canada and created the game, the modern game of hockey in Nova Scotia. Oh shit! Oh yeah, over 400 um, players, and yeah, 1895, and, and and they just had it out in ESPN a documentary. They said it's called Black Ice is the book, and people are like, "What the fuck?" They yeah, they hit it. I just looked it up one day. I said, "Let me just look up hockey." Wow! And I looked up color, and it's all these black players. Well, well, they say the best lacrosse player of all time was Jim Brown. Jim Brown has yeah. the records for all lacrosse yeah, yeah, yeah. players. He's, yeah. He was before he played football. He was lacrosse. Well, now I mean, if you look at the NHL now, there's there's uh, there's uh, multiple. PK but, Subban and, and, there's my and they, boy and they, uh, Kyle Oposo, who I actually know he's Nigerian. Kyle Oposo, and he yeah. was used to be on the Islanders, who are and who, I went to see him in Boston yeah. when he played yeah. used for the Sabers. And yeah, and now, yeah. but like because it's funny because it was like you know okay it's like yeah. Kyle Poso PK Subban you're like PK oh these Subban. kind of weird names but now there's a guy I forget his last name but he's on the uh I think he's on the uh, Washington Capitals. His first name is DeAndre. Oh. So I don't know what his name is. So now it's going to like now real American black. Some real shit like, like some this. real shit. Like it's not PK or no, no. You know, a white Subban. black. It's like, yo, this my man's name is DeAndre. DeAndre. And DeAndre. he's on the fucking Washington Capitals. There he goes, Derek Jackson. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yo. Wait, I'll, I'll Google this. And, they got, Google. and you know, you've heard of the enforcers in hockey, right? Yeah. The enforcers are the guys that come and beat your ass. They, they pretty much, they're not the best hockey players, but they're the guys that warn the other team. If you fuck with our main guy, I'm going to come fuck you up. Yeah. Well, one of the best guys his name is Gare he's a black dude LaRock mm-hmm. his name's LaRock and he's one he's the best enforcer in NHL I think he might have retired but the, the is a black dude who's the best enforcer in the NHL yeah. I'm trying to tell motherfuckers always when people go oh you guys 
aren't dominating in this. I go, listen, white dude, you got Frisbee. That's your thing. <laughs> swimming too. You, you How about frisbee? swimming? Hold on. You got Frisbee. Yeah. No one's fucking with you with Frizz. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got frisbee, that. Yeah. Because we are not interested in it. Yeah. If we get interested, forget it. It's a fucking rap. Yo, shout out to Tiger motherfucking Woods. Yeah. Motherfuckers. Wow. Yeah. Suck. Tiger should just go to every sports show and go, hi. Suck my dick. Yeah. I'm out. Agreed. What's Agreed. up? How you doing, Stephen A. Smith? Yeah. Suck yeah. my dick. Yeah. Next, suck my dick. I won the it. Man, I am so impressed by um, Tiger Woods. Yeah. This motherfucker took a beating, man. Have you looked at his hair? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's every, balding. His, he looks like his shit. hair describes everything he's been through. This motherfucker won the goddamn Masters and what people don't understand. That's what you get from marrying a white woman. Yeah, he, she took yeah, half his yeah, shit, ruined his, his life. Shit, yeah. Ruined his life, and yeah. I think he must have got with some sisters, and they said, "Don't worry, baby, we got we you. Got you. Get yeah. the masses back and bring your ass back to the <laughs> community. You ain't cobbler Asian, yeah. you a black Asian, okay? Yeah. All right, you an Asiatic black man." He was like, "All right, all right." And so, listen, that motherfucker, you get your back straight, we gonna straighten it out. Just, just stop acting like a goddamn fool. <laughs> I mean, your father's name was Earl. Yeah. You don't get yeah. any blacker than no, Earl. He, DMX's he, name is Earl. Yeah. You know, and here's the thing. Tiger Woods, which people to sleep on, he has four yeah, master's kinda. jackets. Yeah. Are people, like, forgetting yeah. he just won his fifth? He's one shy from Jack Nicholas. Get the fuck. This is what kills me. They had that Bubba dude, that that. That golfer. I'm What's a, that guy's name? They had a couple oh, golfers. Bubba, Bubba Whitey. Let's just call yeah, him Bubba yeah. Whitey. They, had, like fuck. they yeah. had a bunch of white dudes. Yeah. You know, because, you know, mother, let's be real. Motherfuckers <clears> were <throat> mad that this black kid was beating the shit out of everybody. Yes. And yeah. he got his three Masters jackets before he was 30 or some shit. Everybody was mad because even Fuzzy Zeller, who was a famous golfer, said, oh, yeah, Tiger Woods. Now that Tiger Woods is here, we're going to have watermelon chicken. I go, first of all, he's half Asian. Did, why don't you talk about, can't you talk about sauteed chicken? No. He was like, he started making fun of him. Oh, they remember did, that? Corny. Yeah. That's they just corny. New, yeah. They did new shit on him. It's corny. corny. I remember that. What was, but he, yeah, it's typical said, white racist shit. There's yeah. this, I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean, yeah. but whites are pretty predictable on their racism. It's yeah. always going to be the monkey. They're going to draw something. Nigger go home. It's so it's like hack racist shit. Right, 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 like, right. are you going to draw nigger go home on my on my yeah, door? Yeah, it's not yeah, even it's, creative. It's anymore. like I'm waiting. I just have my white paint bucket waiting for you to write yeah. to, to spray. Yeah, like it's yeah. so fucking hacky. It's yeah. like you know. And so Tiger Woods winning his fifth Masters jacket. I go let's let's just sink in. Five of those green ugly jackets he has. Yeah. yeah. Five of them motherfuckers. It's yeah. like Tom Brady shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Except he didn't cheat. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Tiger Woods didn't cheat. Tiger yeah. Woods cheated on his and he, wife. And he wasn't blessed with white right. privilege. Right. What did yeah. you say? And he didn't have white privilege. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That mother... And did you see the place go crazy when he won? Uh, yeah. yeah. Tiger Woods is the only reason anybody's fucking with golf. Now, that's Nobody true. Was Nobody golf. was fucking with golf. Nobody was fucking with golf. Nobody was. Woods. Yeah. When making it hip. They never made it hip. Just like nobody was watching SNL until Donald Trump got elected Trump 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your cheat? Yeah. It, if it wasn't for Trump, just you know, give us away. We're in the entertainment business. Give that's us what, see, that's what I like about Wei Godfrey. Is, 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 you, what I love about you the most is more than anything, race, political. You just are always keeping it the realest. There's always is truth. That bad for me? No, no, it's just truth, man. Like I bet, you, like there's certain shit. I bet even even things about your own people that you're like, nah, that's no, like, I hate like it. you don't side with Jesse Smollett just no, because he's he was black. Fucking, no, I met Jesse Smollett. I did a video on there. I, I met him. Well, very, I want to hear your take on Jesse Smollett. Very nice guy. Yeah. He was very cool. Um, you didn't get too close, though. He's gay. You don't I, want that I, getting no, on no, you. No, no, I didn't get he, No, he, I wasn't his type. Uh, he, yeah. What is his type? He didn't go for the darker ones. Yeah, well, no, you look like his type. Those his guys, guys, he, no, not at all. You look like one of the guys that beat him up. No, hey. I, 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 no he hired two Nigerians. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> those are two, two fucking cute kids, those, too. Yeah, yeah one, of them just won, one of them just won the Chicago um, uh, boxing wow. competition, some shit. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing I'm disappointed with, real quick, about yeah, those two ahead. Nigerians. Mm. They should ask for more fucking money. Yeah, I mean, if he's doing a fake hate crime, you only got what like two grand they got five yeah, that's, that's, that's a They're ten jack that's at least ten grand for yeah, a fake hate crime. nigerians yeah. are so humble i'll yeah. take it you yeah know? i don't do it i can't do it for you <laughs> that's, that's the problem yeah see right, yeah, my so thing ahead. is yeah. just cool guy but when he first came out with that report i believed it because a lot of maga supporters are attacking minorities for no reason there's a lot of white men like fighting young black kids like little black kids fighting women they're not like fighting stupid yeah they're not fighting the real brothers you know 
you know, you know, the, you know, when you see dudes on the street, black dudes, you're like, I ain't starting with that. Yeah, nobody's starting with you. Yeah, yeah. no one's starting. Yeah. And I'm not the toughest guy, but no one just no runs one's up on you. Know martial arts, though. I know bit. martial arts, yeah. but is it going to work that day? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't just get run up on. People don't just run up on you. No, very, even though I'm wearing a we, used to t shirt. We don't look like pussies, okay? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not the toughest guy in the world. I don't want to get in any fight. Right. But I noticed that the, the MAGA people that attack. Um, minority is always an old black person. It's never like sure. some ashy knuckle motherfucker who's no, looking for a job with Timberlands on yeah. with no socks on. It's not Kimbo yeah. Slice. They don't fuck with the slices because <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they know they pick and choose. Yeah, it's, it's, you know what I mean? But I see that. But uh, like most white people see all that shit as weakness. You know, they magna- know it's weakness. it's all weak bullshit. It's all weak bullshit. And yeah. um, when that happened, I thought Jesse. I was like, yo, fuck that man. That's bullshit. You know. And then I started to think, wait a minute, why would some dudes? And I know I grew up in Chicago, and it's twenty below. It's a cold night. Yeah, the fuck are they doing? That wind Robin, hurts. Robin, yeah. yeah, it hurts. It Robin, hurts. you with mask on, saying, "Are you that faggot nigga with that that is on Empire?" Empire. I go. I didn't, two middle aged white men watching Empire. First off, <laughs> who's a kind of a gay supporters? black show? Kind yeah. of. Yeah. Who's and watching? And they would know that? you. Yeah. Like you're fifth, yeah, six in the you're the fifth six. You're not even top dog. <laughs> like if it were Terrence Howard, I'd be yeah, like, "Well, shit." Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm like something. It just yeah. looks fishy, man. And yeah. Joe Budden, you know Joe Budden. Of course, Joe Budden's like I'm a white beater. I don't need a tank top. Yeah, hell yeah. He's <laughs> like I. <laughs> It's one of his. That's one of his bars. Of white boys who was uh, uh, going up, sitting in traffic on the White Stone Bridge. Me and my white friends. I'm a white beater. I don't need a tank yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, he was. He's a dope. Do your thing. Do, do your thing. thing. Uh, yeah. Do your thing. Yeah, yeah, do yeah, your yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I just thought he was right. He said I knew it was something wrong when he first came out with that shit because he had the noose around his neck. Then he had this little makeup. He wasn't even beat up. Beat up. Yeah. yeah. And then he goes. I'm the gay Tupac. I said, oh, you done fucked up. Yeah. 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 You, you fucked up. But do you yeah, think the black up. community will like welcome him back? Like, with, You know, you know? he has to, I think if he, he has he's to He's got apologize. some friends in high places because he got off 16 counts. And yeah. he was convicted by a grand jury. So he's got some friends in high places. His brother, I mean, his he, his sister is an actress. Um, She's real, what's her name? Journey Smollett. Very cute. Very cute chick. Um, I think he has to, there should be an apology to like, hey, but I don't know if he's going to admit that. I don't know what to say. This business is so strange. It's yeah. so weird. Yeah. But I don't know what's going to happen. You know what I feel like too. It's, I think it's just narcissistic. It's just social sociopathic shit. Well, it's almost That's like it's almost like now. I know, like even though I don't go for it full, you know, in our in chain business, I say, yeah. oh. Straight white guys aren't getting anything anymore. Oh I, man, no, 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 that's no. what Chris Pratt said. No, that fucker said that. No, it's that. all bullshit. I don't yeah. agree with it because I'm like we all have opportunities. But in a way, in in uh, in a way, I feel like for media purposes or like entertainment mm-hmm. purposes, it's almost like if you're all the way white or all the way black, they kind of don't care. They just want like shit in between. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. Like right. I feel like the opportunities for we're just normal whites and Alpha, blacks. Like yeah. oh, you guys have been around. Yeah, now it's yeah. like, Are you a transgender right, Indian right. Eskimo? Right. Then we want to talk to you. Right. But it's right. like oh, you're just black, but, black okay, yeah. or you're just white that's All it right. yeah it's not interesting do you feel that a little bit yeah I feel it a little bit but the white dude will never lose he no. will always be no. running shit yeah. the yeah. white guy yeah. whether the gay or heterosexual will always be running shit that's why when white gays they go yo it's like being black I go stop black gays don't have any power pretty white soon Chinese gays, though Chinese are doing pretty good <laughs> Chinese are gonna take over I, I believe they're gonna Maybe take Chinese over on a political gonna... level I don't yeah. know about acting though because oh, there, there are billions yeah. of them but you barely see any of them yeah but but they're everybody's girlfriend though, which is weird. Yeah, <laughs> they're everybody's white. There's all, every white guy has a has a chi- an Asian girlfriend. Have you seen it? Have you noticed? A lot. I'm not saying every white guy, but a lot of a lot of, Jew, a lot of Jew, Jewish guys and Asians because they meet in Ivy Leagues. I, I, they meet that, in the Ivy League schools. I think yeah. that a lot of think, Asians and Jews. But I think also there's a there's a website because it's getting a little ridiculous. It's gotta be. I think it's called Ugly White Guy Cute Asian Girl. <laughs> yeah, com. It's yeah. like it's fucking ridiculous. They're the fucking weirdest looking dudes. The I, only that with the these cute white Asian girls. I go, is there a website? The yeah. only cute dude that website? I ever see rocking cute Asian girls is Russ Maneev. He's Russ only, is good looking. He's only good looking. He's a good looking, Russ Russ is a good looking guy, so yeah. he can rock anybody he uh-huh, fucking yeah. wants to. I get that. But there's usually dude. Have you seen? They look crazy. It's these Cra- weird, yeah. fucking nebbish. Yeah, looking it's like dudes fucking... like I, I, like I don't want you near my child, but yeah, you have yeah. an Asian wife, and you have an Asian wife who's all in their in their face. I go, it has to be an arrangement. It's probably. And listen, I'm sure people will be pissed at what I just said, but I don't give a fuck because I've noticed it. I go, what is going? I just want to go up and go. How did you do that? Yeah. How did? What, what did you see in him? Right. Ugh. Right. Yeah. Ugh. There's some couples you just go. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. Like ill. Ja- I, I, Japanese I, girls love black kids. Oh though. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, they love hip hop culture. They love hip hop culture, and they like getting cracked open and cleaned up by black guys. Whoa, holy shit! Yeah. That's what he 
said when Banger Girl, we Banger Girl's cracked, cracked open, open and cleaned out. Well, I, I got you. It's like yeah. a loose uh, outlet. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like a loose outlet when you put your phone in a thing. <laughs> yeah. You go, wow, there are a lot of black outlets came yeah, in this whoa. way. No way. Get out of here. Whoa, get <laughs> out of here. Back up. But can I, yo, I'm supposed to do some more black shit. Oh, yeah, the Jesus thing. Yeah. yeah. Another thing, too, I in the Bible, I would have believed that Jesus was white if we would have had a verse with him complaining about sunburn. Never did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when Jesus yeah. gets touched by Matthew, he's like, ow. Yeah. If, ow, with, <laughs> ow with Matthew. Yeah, so. You know thy skin is tender with thy yeah. touch. I but was no, in- there was no complaints of sunburn, so I believe they were all black. Personally, they were black. And the Jesus that you see is a, is a Cesare Borgia is the guy's name. Yeah. He's an actual guy. Really? Yeah, it's an actual man. That, oh, that, I didn't know that, that. It's a guy named Cesare Borgia, and the bishop at the time... Um, Relegated him, say you delegated him to be the the image of Jesus. Right. Really, Cesare Borgia. That's yeah. fu- did you know that? No, I knew it was. And well, obviously, I, you could tell it's some white. Is they made because they the, made him white. Jesus, Jesus that wasn't man white. existed. I think Jesus, I, I think, but it's Cesare hey, Borgia. Jesus was some, he was like an Arab looking. Kid. I think he was black. But I think just think black. they say Arab just so they can lighten him up. Yeah, I think that he was a black dude because the hell he went through. Uh uh-uh. uh yeah. That's black suffrage. So you think he was full black? I think he was a black dude. Personally, yeah. I think a lot of people in the Bible were black. They yeah. just they they're just they're just the hatred for black and Africans. Yeah. They they would just like cover it up because they don't want no, we can't have that. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because there was a lot of black royalty in in in, in Europe. There were black kings and queens. It's but the they truth. never spoke about it. But they know no, they, they won't speak about it. Like in the Vatican, there's the black Mary and Madonna that the Pope kisses. Every time he goes in the Vatican, there's a black Mary and Jesus in the Vatican, mm-hmm. but they don't, they celebrate the black Madonna and the black Jesus. It's so weird. It's but, so, I and, and Buddha what... is black too. Buddha is black too. Not Asian. Asian. Sure. Yeah. Buddha is black, but they don't say it. I'm telling you. I'm telling yeah. you. A lot I of, believe you. A lot of Southeast Asians are black. You ever seen black Filipinos? They're called Negritos in the mountains. Yeah. They're black. Well, they, he, he was in physical like, therapy, so he knows a lot of I know Filipinos. A lot of Filipinos. But, but I, my mother, was, my mother was a nurse. I grew up with Filipinos. I had a Filipino girlfriend in uh, sophomore year in high school. Uh, they have they, like a snapping turtle accent, right? They talk like that. Talk like a lot that. of times, uh, your body is fucked up. <laughs> You're all fucked up. Chris, you fucked up. If you say ta'e, that means shit in Tagalog. Tagalog, yeah, Tagalog. ta'e. Yeah. Yeah, ta, Como esta ka? Now listen, your, your, your whole body is fucked up. We have to, we have to <laughs> massage your body. So I ate pancet, adobo, I ate all that food. But they have the black Asian. So you have to understand, anthropologically, everything you see is African. Even you're a Greek man. Greek Orthodox Church comes from the African um, Church. This is the stuff I need to know. And and but but a, a Greek no. a Greek man told me he said this. You know the Greek Orthodox comes from African Anglo. Yeah, it's the same yeah. style. Like whatever you know what the Pope wears. Yeah, it comes from Ramesses, the African god in Egypt. All the shit the Pope wears is African. It's all African shit. Right. But they not because people hate us. They're not. They're not going to believe it. Why do go, people hate black people so? Much? I, I don't, we didn't do anything. Yeah. I think. It, I think it's more. It's you know how jealousy can turn into hatred. Mm-hmm. I think it's a jealousy thing because think about this. Now listen. I'm gonna even. You know, we're comics, so I'm gonna keep it real. Mm-hmm. It's so funny. I always tell white dudes, you're fucking yourself up when you go. I don't want my daughter fucking no black dude. It's okay. Ridiculous. First, let me tell you. Well, first of all, let me tell you how you fucked up. You can't keep bringing up black guys' dicks. What girl's gonna be like? Damn, I gotta stay away from them big old dicks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. First yeah. of all, it's more you, of a compliment you, than anything. You're fucking up by bringing that up, right? And if some of the really racist white dudes that don't want their daughters marrying black dudes are always watching sports. Mm. I go, you're watching sweaty black muscular men run up and down yeah. a field, and your daughter's watching, and yeah. you and you're wearing a black dude's jersey on your back, who's yeah. 20 years old. Yeah. Who's the bitch in the family? Right. <laughs> yeah. You feel where I'm coming from? Yeah. yeah. So you're talk, you got posters of all these black men. It makes sense. You're listening to hip hop, yeah. jazz, this, black, black, and you're telling your daughter not to fuck. She shouldn't be fucking white men. Yeah. yeah. She, she'd be like, why should I fuck white men? Yeah. You don't watch any yeah. of them. Yeah, daddy, yeah. I want to fuck one of your <laughs> idols. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I used to have It'll Dominique be- Wilkins on my wall. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. it'll be like, you'll take your kids to a basketball game. Right. And you're cheering on black dudes and your daughter's going look at these fucking superheroes yeah. <laughs> and your father's going oh my god he's my favorite you're acting more like the bitch than your daughter yeah, yeah. and then you're going they fucking those big they got those big cocks yeah what woman's <laughs> going oh man i better Not stick with me. this little dick motherfucker yeah and yeah. there are white dudes with big dicks too let's keep it real but i'm saying in average if you're bringing up sexual prowess of black men and your daughter's hearing this. Who's first of all? When I see a white girl that do, that doesn't like black men, she's lying. 
She's faking it because she doesn't want to get her ass whooped by her daddy yeah. or whatever. Or Especially for dads from Long Island. It's like yeah. it's, it's, it's like when I see uh 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 we ever see like like I love to look at clan pictures, old clan pictures. Okay. Clan, and I see white women in the clan. You know, they always have those little McDonald fry hats. They don't even have a full <laughs> clan hat. They have McDonald fry hat. Yeah, yeah. They look like they don't mean it. Yeah. yeah. They're like, yeah, the niggers, goddamn it. You know these white girls yeah. want some dick. Yeah. They want yeah. some real you know that. Yeah. And a white man's like, you better not go fuck that big dick really yeah what what woman you know this is what i'm saying so yeah. you shouldn't mention it if you really really about your daughter not fucking a black dude don't bring it up yeah. don't watch sports you keep watching sports she gonna fuck a black dude right and this happens in the south where they praise basketball and, and football. football yeah it's I love, like a religion i know isn't it funny i'm trying always... to help people be racist the proper way yeah do you think that's why Nashville brought in a hockey team to prevent the daughters from dating blacks? No, dummies, because there's black dudes showing up in hockey. <laughs> I well, fuck P.K. Subban is on Nashville. I know, you yeah. dummy. Yeah. And kidding. he's a bad motherfucker. Yeah, oh, yeah. you were kidding. Yeah. Hockey, well, hockey got popular. Serious. Hockey what? Hockey got popular in Nashville because of him, I think, in I, part. Uh, yes! Yeah. Yes. Of course it did. Montreal went crazy when he left. Yeah, yeah. of course. They went crazy because, I'm telling you, because we're really good at this shit. Grand Fuhrer. If you know Grand Fuhrer, Montreal. Well, he I know knows the Fuhrer. Fuhrer. Yeah. Grand Fuhrer. Fuhrer is, yeah. I went to the, I went to, check this out, I went to the Hockey Hall of Fame with Bo Burnham and Steve Byrne. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Years ago, we went, and Grand Fuhrer's shit is sick. His whole display, the goalie, he was a goalie for the Oilers. And I was like, hell yeah, I was like, yeah, black man, motherfucker. Willie O'Ree was the first black person in the National Hockey League. He was the first black dude to be in the National Hockey League. Willie O'Ree from Nova Scotia. I saw his whole plaque, the whole wow. night. But we pretty much created uh, modern hockey in 1895, 22 years before the um, before the NHL. We created the slap shot and the goalie leaving the crease. Yeah. So fuck you and fuck all of y'all. Fuck know, white people. I, I, no, no, I, you know, <laughs> it's I always, like how we talk about it because you guys no, get we're it. Just, yeah, yeah, we're just, but yeah. people will go, you don't like white people. When yeah. I'm, my, Not our fans. When I'm our hanging fans around are. a bunch of white people, I go, what are you talking about? <laughs> you, always, yeah. you always notice that the white supremacists are always like... The worst candidates for white supremacy. <laughs> you know, some guy with four teeth going, white people are superior. Yeah. We're the superior ways. You're like, what do you do? You're like, I, I, I'm an assistant at a car wash. You're like, are you really superior? It's, it's like, yeah. it's like, yeah, it's like, it's such hypocrisy behind it. Because I'm thinking, yo, if you would think the KKK, it's a pr it, like the name is amazing. Ku Klux Klan means circled, and it's got Ku a nice Klux. ring. Yeah, it's it's Greek, yep. like Ku Klux. It's like nice. it's like a Greek origin. Everything means, comes from the Greek. We're the original people. Well, before it, Nigerians. Well, yeah. well, Africa. You guys took all your shit from Africa. Yeah, we so stole it all. Yeah. All the Socrates and Aristotle. Yeah. No, so you guys, the, you guys, from the Greeks and the Nigerians yeah, yeah. did their things, and then I'm yeah. German. We came in, we cleaned it up. Are you? You're German. Oh, <laughs> he's mostly fuck. German. Did you know that? Oh, I, are you? Yeah. Right? He tried to exterminate yeah. my people. Look at this guy. You're not even Italian. No, I thought I was, but then we did the ancestry. Dot com on the show found that I'm like 80% German. You're no, you 80. always knew you were that's more where, Irish and German. He's mostly the German. Fucking, yeah. That's where that douchey look comes yeah. from. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's yeah. just like, hello. He's looking yeah. at you like, I have to clean him out. Yeah, yes. I, I just we have got, to get all these dirty people out. <laughs> Three weeks ago, I was in Germany. I was in Dresden, Dusseldorf, Berlin, Hamburg, and, Mu uh, and Munich. You doing shows out there? I did shows with my boy Oliver Pollack, who's the only living Jewish comic in Germany. And wow. I was hanging with my boy Michael Mittemeyer from Munich. He's huge German comic. And do the German crowds love the American style it. and shit? But there's yeah. a lot of German girls. Let's no, be honest. I, I did not. They love I black German, guys. German women love black guys. Yeah, yeah, but I did not get guys. any pussy. I really? got none. No, nope, I got just... Well, we were like going, we were staying day or two. And, and with the Me Too, I, I just was very cautious. I wasn't really tripping on. Yeah. I hung out with some girls, but I didn't. There was no fucking. They were, I, and, then, and then they were kind of bullshitting. So I wasn't, I, I, if I, I'm not going to try They're beautiful for you. out there, though, I, the German it, girls. It, beautiful women, women everywhere. everywhere. It doesn't fucking matter. And so it's so funny because the Germans were like, I, I, and I went on stage and go, oh, yeah, Germany. Deutschland. I said the headquarters of hatred. Nice. And then I go, this is white people's Africa. <laughs> yeah. Like I saw guys that look like you. Oh yeah. That look like we're like, oh, you think they're gonna go? What's up, dude? They were like, und Gottfried. I I was watching you on on Vlad TV. <laughs> yeah. It was very good. Yeah. Everybody sounded like a Bond villain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Congratulations, Godfrey. Very they're funny. They're all so tall, very... right? Everybody's like six not, three. Not not everybody, but they're tall people. But not everybody's tall. It's not like the Dutch. Yeah, the Dutch. Dutch. Tall. 
everyone's fucking baked. Let me Tom. ask you this. Did, you, did they tell you before not to make any... You can't even say Nazi. Nah, it's a crime. Nah. They didn't say don't, nah, right? Nah, Because Oliver Pollack, who is a... When he comes, you guys got to put it, bring him on the podcast. You really to. like him. He's going to yeah. move here for a few months. He um, writes about anti-Semitism, and he's really... His, I was on his tour, his first leg of his tour, opening up for him, and then he set up some solo shows for me. He talks about that shit. He makes fun of Jewish shit. He, nah, you can go and all he's out. he's like a legit celebrity in he's Germany. He's a legit celebrity. And, and it, you, they want to hear real shit. Yeah. Even though Germans are, they, they're sick of that fucking Nazi shit, but I go, well, motherfuckers, you act like you stopped being racist. Relax. Yeah. And you act yeah. like fuckers. it was 300 years ago. I mean, there's still <laughs> right. people who are alive right. yeah. who are <laughs> repping and Nazi like, Germany. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like, look, you have to deal with a few jokes. Fucking right. deal with it. They deal with it. Yeah. You're still running shit. You fucking tried to exterminate everybody who wasn't German. And then can I tell you, too? Yeah. Man, I, there's a lot of Nigerians. I went to a Nigerian restaurant and ate Nigerian food in East Germany, in Sam. the middle of East Germany. What is this Nigerian, Nigerian food? Girl, it's called, there's different kinds. Fufu, it's a lot of gari, meat, right? Meat a lot dishes? of meat and soup. It's a, a goosey. There's different yeah. names for it. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah. I ate it every day of my life. You yeah. know what I mean? That's why when people see me bench, yeah, they go, "Hey, what, what's, what's up?" My name's I love yeah. D's. Yeah. I love your character D's. Yeah, yeah. you like my D's character? Yeah. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's like this, what's up, bros? Yeah. 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 No, you're fucking Instagram. Well, you're like, because you know you've been around a long time, movies yeah. and all that shit. But, but like but I, I now, embraced. the ticket sales are coming from the Instagram. Man, shit. I am, most of it. Two years ago, yeah, I was We're keeping I it real was, here. I was keeping it real. It was like like Greer Barnes, who was another a, a incredible comedian, the one of the best, one yes. of the coldest. Rips his Comedy Central half hour in sandals, cargo shorts, and a winter jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's one of the most wild outfits <laughs> I've ever seen anybody <laughs> do a television Other than spot Dave on. Cooks that. a half hour. Yeah, which, that one was out of like yeah. what? Yeah, the fuck but was Greer that? Barnes fucking smashes yeah, yeah. in cargo shorts <laughs> and sandals. So you got to be a real motherfucker yeah. to yeah. smash on television with cargo <laughs> shorts and sandals as on sandals as a yeah. black dude, as a black dude yeah. looking like a small Idris Elba. Yeah. So okay. So two years ago. So two years ago. Ago, I, I got off my ass, man. I said, you know, we were all talking about it because we're around some talented motherfuckers. Every yeah. day we have the privilege of being around all of us. Just everybody's just talented, works yeah. hard, you know. And you go, yeah. we were, I was talking about the, the Instagram. And I, I got on it a little bit. I didn't really do much. And I was bitching, bitching, bitching. And then I said, fuck this shit, man. I'm going to embrace this shit because it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a train that's going and you're going to get left. Yeah, absolutely. And so I got on that motherfucker. Like it's one of those like Bond shit. I got on the yeah. back of it. Din -it, din -it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, you know how you get dragged first? Yeah. yeah. Get on. Yeah. I got on that bitch and I called up. There's a guy named Rennie. Shout out to Rennie. Lorenzo. He's an Instagram star. He's at 2 million followers. He's in college. He's like 22 years old. Everybody said, yo, there's a guy that looks like you on Instagram. Okay. He's fucking hilarious. I look at him. I go, damn, this dude does look like me. And so I fucking, I just, I, um, and he came by the uh, fat black and big Steve was like, he goes, Godfrey, man, there's a guy that looks just like you. He, <laughs> I swear to God, he's a, a guy. He's a doppelganger. Yeah. <laughs> and so I go, all right, I'm going to call this dude up. And I, I, I DM'd him. I said, hey, dude, what's up? Everybody say we look alike. He's like, yo, man, what's up? He's a fan of mine. Yeah. What the fuck? We got to do something. I said, "Fuck it, let's do something. Let's. I'm gonna let's let. I'll play your stepdad. I'll play like your dad. But, yeah, man. I he comes to my apartment. We do a sketch. He. I. I just after we finish, I watch him edit the motherfucker on the phone. Yeah, put sound effect. It was crazy. Like it's he, a whole new world. This yeah. motherfucker's like, put it. He's it's like, hold on, hold on, yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold, hold up. Put it, put it, put it. Then he goes. Now I'm gonna send it. I'm at 8,000 followers at this point. This I'm is like, two years ago. Two years ago. I was like 8,000 followers. Yeah. This motherfucker sends it. And he goes, now pick up your phone. I, I literally look at my my numbers go up. It was 8.3, 8. 8. 8. 8. 8.5. I was like 9,000. I went up to 12,000 that night. Yeah. Wow. And I said, he goes, that's how it's done. You yeah. have to get into the network. Uh, now, yeah. And now you're at like 200,000. I'm at 250, quarter of yeah. a million now. Yeah. I'm at a quarter but, but, of a million. I but, hit it a couple of days But ago. like now, just like, just yeah. like, because you've been around forever. So yeah. many people are fans of yours. But were you seeing like a few years ago, ticket sales not be as good as they were? They, until, but now that you're embracing Instagram, you're sold the, out the, again? The, 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 the good thing about my career as a headliner I've been fortunate to have kept my steady group of people. Yeah, it's like so there's many times, generations know there's you. There's times I go, okay, I sold out here. I sold out a few shows. I've always been there. Right. Where it was never like, damn, nobody's here, Godfrey. 
Even was, in the beginning of your career. It, it, it was always decent. I always right. had decent numbers, boom, 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 boom. It was always a steady growth. It right. was always a good, that's why co- co- um, co- um, comedy clubs keep me. Yeah. That's why I've, I've always been able to do you also 40 rip. And, and yeah, you also I, I, mur- I yeah. murder like a yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. And because. You're a stone cold killer. <laughs> So funny. Yeah, that's why. Like sometimes I hear other comedians. Sometimes I hear other comedians be like, "Oh, I just murdered," and I'm like, mm-hmm. "I've seen Godfrey murder. Yeah. That's a murder. Godfrey you know? kills." But and then I've, it's like, you and know. I've had to come after you guys. Boom, 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 boom. But when you're when you because it's 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 people go, "Oh, I I, I come with the confidence of murdering because I put work in." I work hard at my shit. I don't. I don't. You're also take, gifted too. I, I appreciate that. And you're sitting right during the day, talents. like you're thinking of shit all day. I'm thinking of shit all day, and I'm really. I'm. I don't take stage time for granted. I really go on stage. People say, "Wait a minute, you just got back from." I go, but I have time to go do my set. I'm going to go do it. I, yeah. I just. Yeah, I don't you take never days cancel. off. You're always- I don't cancel. If and if and if I miss a day, it's because it was a mistake. I got scheduling wrong that's why when someone gets mad i go motherfucker you know i don't miss my shit it was probably i didn't know something but i'm always on stage they go you don't take a break even when i'm exhausted i go sometimes the best comes out of you when you're fucking just you're not feeling it but sometimes i'll just you get sometimes when you're so tired you don't give a fuck and you come up with like yeah amazing shit and they record everything so you keep that and go damn I'm going to do that shit i did a whole 20 new minutes on fucking game of thrones yesterday yeah yeah new shit and i was like I'm going to talk about that because you're going to be able to talk about Game of Thrones for years. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So, um, what the fuck was I talking about before? Oh, uh, Inst- uh, we're talking Instagram, about Instagram. Instagram. So Instagram, you know, now I've seen the work that I put in. Now, once I started fucking with Rennie, I said, let me get with King Batch. You know King Batch? Sure. 18 million followers. His girl, Amanda Cerny, 25 million followers. D-Storm, 5 million. All And the girls, the fucking hottest chicks, they all got 500,000, 800. So I called up. I said, hey, Rennie, hook me up with King Batch. Rennie called him right away. King Batch texted me right away. Yo, let's do something. Comes to New York. I do something in his hotel room. It's the it's the, um, it's the the uh, noisy neighbor. I uh, actually, sketch. that was hilarious. <laughs> Where you kept going by like, yo, man, I can said, you keep yo, it I down? I said, yo, could you keep it down, man? We trying to sleep. All right. Yeah, Have you seen that? It's yeah, really up. I say, hey, my man, yeah. who's taking a shower, man? Yeah. Yo, man, put that shit on. T- t- Real funny, yeah. Yo, then I come back. Yo, who's doodling? Yeah, who's man. doodling? Don't hit, hit the Yo, side man, of the bowl. Yo, man, let the straight. doodle hit the side of the bowl. Yeah. Let it roll into the bowl, man. Your splash is mad loud, <laughs> yeah. son. I did that, and that was all me. <clears throat> inst- that's all me improv The next day, everybody calls and goes, my man. They just My boy goes like this. Yo, let the doodles hit the side of the bowl? <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? He said, motherfucker, your shit is viral as fuck on Instagram. Your shit, that shit is so funny. Then my shit got shared. It got yeah. shared. The Millions Breakfast Club shit. Yeah. So I was like, oh. Then your numbers really My jumped. numbers were like, brruh, brruh, 10, 30, 30, 30. And, and just the other, not too long ago, did you see me with the white kids with the do-rags? Yeah, I, see, I, yeah, I, see I saw it. it. <laughs> I saw it, yeah. That shit. Those I kids got, were real. Those were real. They kids? were. Re- I was hilarious. at Nyack. I was yeah. at Levity Live. Yeah. Oh, they and were in the mall. Kids came yeah. with do rags. Yeah. They say, "Hey, can we get a picture?" I go, first of all, <laughs> first of all, you have to let me record you with yeah. these do rags." They were like, "Hell yeah!" Wave check. Wait. They kept going. <laughs> wave check. Wave check. I was like, "What the fuck is wave check?" <laughs> and they was like, "So you trying to get waves?" I go, "Fuck yeah, I'm trying to get waves." Yeah. He was so funny. The kid yeah. was funny. I go, "Let me see that." So he takes I off. Saw, yeah. He had like two waves. I go, "Oh." Oh shit! You go, hell yeah. yeah. Hell. And I yeah. released that bitch. I got 30,000 new followers could, in a day. I can yeah. imagine. You, it's, th- this era is made for it. You could just, you're such a funny guy. You could just, if you have an idea, you just film it. That's what it I do. could reach. It could, Me and Chris shot something the other day. We had yeah. an idea. It's already been seen. The one by, in the street? The one yeah, in the street? Yeah, 80,000 yeah. people. You see what I'm saying? Probably more people have seen that than whatever like, show what you do. But, but see, the thing is, it's that a great era to be a comedian if, if you, you embrace if it. If you feel. Like something is funny, just do, just, just fucking do it. release it. Yeah. If it fucking stinks, okay, fine. Yeah. Oh, it, it didn't make eighty thousand. I got five thousand. Yeah. That's five thousand. Five thousand. Yeah. Fuck what you heard. Yeah. It's still They're five thousand. They're not going to be as good as the other. No. I mean, every every TV show has got good and bad episodes. Some of the ones you think are not going to, because the do rag thing. I said this will be funny. Yeah. Motherfucker. You didn't expect well, it to go well, viral. Man, I thought my I thought there was a glitch in my numbers. I was like I was at one ninety three. I went to two hundred twenty thousand. I go. I think something's fucked up. Yeah. And the kid, 
was like, yo, we're on World Star. It went to World Star. That's DL it. Hughley shared it. Yeah. It was, and, and I you, still get people coming and at And you me. didn't ask him to do any of that. That shit was organic. It was organic. And so now I turn, whenever I turn my, <clears throat> you know, once I started fucking with these other cats, I start doing my own video. They go, I'm funny, just ranting and raving. It's like you do your characters. We have the skills. We yeah. have the. Just put it so out So I just go, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I'll be like seeing somebody on the subway say, yo, look at this man, motherfucker, man. 30, 40, 50,000. Yeah. And then people come to my shows and go, dude, well, yo, the shit, that's why I came to see you. But yeah. now but yeah. now you see, because you were saying you maintain it, now you see it's like sold out, sold out. It's sold out. I, you know, And even if I if I go to a club, like I was just said, um, shout out to Stress Factory in New Brunswick. I sold out a few of my shows. I didn't sell out all of them, but it was good numbers because I took the gig kind of last minute. Right. But I still was able to, people still, and then I'm on Sirius XM too. I have my... Yeah. My radio yeah, what's show. What's the show? Tell it. What's it's called Sirius XM Channel One Two Six. It's called the Godfrey Complex on uh, Channel One Twenty Six, uh, six to eight PM Eastern Time. Two hour show. It's dope. I've had motherfuckers on my show. All Judah's been on my. Whenever you guys, if you ever want to come, you want to oh, pump something up. Any motherfucking time you can want to come. And you got a podcast to too. I got a podcast called um, um, In Godfrey We Trust. Um, it's at the Gas Digital Network. Louis J Gomez and and Ralph Sutton. And I went from 7,000 listeners to 20,000. Sick. I'm yeah. 20,000, and I'm only 29 episodes in. Got more listeners than us. But it's, but it's, it's whatever. It's just putting in the work and doing it and not, yeah. not getting mad. I got off my ass and said, you know what? And Luis J. Gomez kept – and I, you know I got a kick in the ass from Burt Kreischer. I was on Burt Kreischer's podcast, and Burt goes, bro, you got to do a podcast. You got to do a fucking podcast. <laughs> you know, I've known Burt since 97. Yeah. Really? What? Yeah. I've known, That's I've, another motherfucker selling tickets like man, you can't imagine. And I'm so proud. Of, first of all, he's one of the kindest motherfuckers Absolutely. you will ever meet in your yeah. life. He goes, God, you got to do a podcast. Dude, no, fuck that. Got to do a podcast. And I go, that's Bert. I'm at his house with his chickens and his eggs and his yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah, in he his goes, garage. You yeah. have to do a podcast, motherfucker. He kicked me in my ass. I said, okay. Yeah. And I said, let me do that. I and then I and then I got so much juice off of Bert's podcast. Everyone's like, everyone's sending me messages. Do a podcast. Do yeah. a fucking podcast, man. So I I started and then Luis J. Joe Gomez is like, Godfrey, come on, dude. I, look it, I'm doing shit. Look at, come see our studio. For a year, Lewis has been rep- and I and I went. I said, "Fuck it!" So I did it, and I'm I'm I'm. It's the best thing I've ever yeah. done. And I feel like also my focus is so different now. I'm all about like my work. I'm well, really all free, about my work. You're you're free to do what you free want now. Exactly, and you can make it doing it your when way. It's the numbers that you don't have show. to fucking collaborate no. with any. Body in a network no. or anything, you can just do it, yeah. and what you do and want to do can take you will, into full rooms, and they will follow you. Yeah. And now I got people saying, you know, Godfrey, I think you you don't cost enough. I have people paying tickets. They go, you don't cost <clears throat> enough, and I and they're so supportive. They go, we're waiting for you to do theaters, man. I want to pay a hundred dollars. I want to pay a hundred dollars to see Godfrey. Fuck, you could do quality. a theater. You I, could do, you I do got, it right now. I got to believe in my. First of all. I'm starting to get into this. I don't know if you know about that manifestation and thoughts create things. I'm yeah, we call that. it homosexuality. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's, <laughs> yeah. you, I set myself up for that, you piece of shit. That was good. He's called homo. Yeah. Shut your mouth. Yeah. Stop crying. Yeah, it's called do some work. Yeah, why don't you go do a theater with Mateo Lane over here? <laughs> yeah. That motherfucker's talented as shit. He's and ripped. Talented. That talent. Yeah. I hate yeah. his ripped ass. Yeah, he's, like, fucking he's too talented. diesel. He's, he's I so saw diesel. the other day he did like Liza. You see that Liza Manella? I he's, mean, it's so it, He's perfect. so talented. It's it's. He's a really unreal. Talented kid, yeah. Yo, well, we got we got we got to go though. We got we, we yeah. gotta go. We almost had two hours. Yeah. Yo, this gotta, was this was yeah. So we, I could come back. Wait, we want any time you want to come back. Time. Yeah. 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 For real? Of yeah. course. Thank I you for doing that, dude. And we want to come we on your, your shit. Yeah. And we want to do Instagram shit. videos, you. We need followers dude, too, dude, guy. You, you want, only support black a, people, you racist could, fuck. Okay. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you can. We should do one outside today. Yeah. For real. We should go downstairs and do something in the street. Right now, yeah. right I got a now, Whitney Houston T-shirt yo, yo, on. Yo, yeah. yo, this, this, we need to do that. Yeah, yeah. you want to do it? Talk, could, talk about how white people only uh, wear yeah. black T-shirts. Yes. Yes. All right, let's We're go. Do that All right, shit. we'll see you guys later. Patreon.com slash Boys. Wait, comedian Godfrey, Instagram. Follow me on that. Godfrey comedian, Twitter, and listen to my podcast. And Godfrey, we trust on Gas Digital Network on Tuesdays at nine thirty. Subscribe with promo code Godfrey. Yeah, yeah. All right, Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. All my dates, ChristyComedy.com. All the honest dates, GiannisPapas.net. Right. Speak you soon. Oh yeah. yeah speak oh, to yeah. you. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Dayton, Dayton, Ohio, this week. Dayton, oh, yeah. Ohio, Ohio there. 18th to the 20th. Dayton, Ohio, funny bone. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. go follow Fuck. Godfrey. Follow me,